I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before, all's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins. No, I spin it in a vicious cycle. I'm scared of doing something.
Hey! What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday night. Welcome to Skilly Spooktober. It is one of the best months in the entire year, Spooktober. So we're going to do it upright. We are going to play a ton of different horror games for streams and in edited videos here in October. It's going to be a blast. So I hope you guys will join me for all of it. Tonight, I'm excited. All right. We are going to play Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. So if you haven't heard of this game, it is a ghost hunting slash paranormal hunting investigation game. It's been in early access for like, I don't know, I think it was like a year it launched out of early access into 1.0 full release on September 28th. And a lot of other creators and a lot of other people who gamers who, who play it, they bill it as the most realistic paranormal investigation game out there. Now, the graphics aren't, you know, it's not going to be pushing my 4090 to the max, but apparently you have to be very methodical. It's very realistic in how you have to approach the ghosts, the ghosts and the hunts and everything. So it should be a hell of a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Came highly recommended. Before anybody asks, you guys are probably like, oh, you guys should you should play this with IGP and IC and blah, blah, blah. I, I would, but it's only single player, unfortunately. So and there is no multiplayer in it. And I looked because I wanted to, but there is no multiplayer mods available either. So only single player in, in its current state, so that's why I'm playing it by myself. But it should still be a hell of a good time. It has very, very, very overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. I have not spoiled anything about this game for myself. I watched a one-minute trailer, and then other than that, I have some creator friends and some IRL friends who have said it's just an amazing ghost hunting slash paranormal hunting game. So we're going to check it out. It should be a lot of fun. I hope everybody is doing good. Oh my goodness, so many of you guys are here already. What's up, Panda Fox, Nico, Pen KP, GDSK09, Alan Briggs, Creative Nick, Dog Soldier, Knight Rider Jr. Welcome, good to see all of you. I hope you guys are doing good. Jackie O'Lantern, what's up? Jojo Rod, good to have you. Avid Orchid, welcome. Electro, good to see you. I hope you guys are all doing good. Will they implement multiplayer in the future? I don't know. Um, the, the it's one, I don't know if his name's actually Conrad Stevenson, but the dev, I think the character's name in the game is Conrad Stevenson, who you play as. But the dev said that their goal was to set out and make a realistic paranormal investigation game. And so, and a lot of people are saying they have succeeded at that. So that's good. I did want to point out something though, real quick, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, and in the settings, there's a jump scare setting. So you could turn jump scares on and off, which was really interesting to me. I, I personally have never seen that setting in any other horror game that I've played. Of course, we're going to play with it on. I mean, I can't not. Every fiber of my being wants to turn it off, but, uh, <laughs> we're going to play with it on, right? Because it's Spooktober and we have to play with it on. Uh, <laughs> That is a heart rate monitor up there, Ethan. Uh, welcome to your first stream, by the way. I hope you're doing good. Sentient number six, good to have you, man. I hope you're well. Mr. Wasso, welcome. Brittany, welcome. Riley, good to have you. I hope you're doing good. Takio Yaki, Dog Soldier. Uh, Phoenix, good to see you. Blue Burbus, good to have you. That is a really cool setting. I just thought that was interesting because maybe if you're interested in the game, you know, but... Uh, for whatever reason you can't play super super spooky stuff i don't know how spooky it is we're about to find out uh it, it's nice to have that option right um it says continue but i haven't done anything so we're just gonna do new game in my youth i experienced something i didn't so expect terrifying. voice acting it froze my soul i was unable to scream or run I just stood frozen and gazing at a horror that I can only explain as being paranormal. Okay. As time passed, I was able to transform my terror into curiosity, which then turned into obsession. Gotcha. As I searched for answers, I discovered <laughs> I was not alone with my experience. I was determined to help those folks who retain the fear that I felt. Before I knew it, I was developing a reputation in the field of paranormal research. I developed a website and merchandise, hoping to spread the word and earn a bit of cash. This is Conrad, I guess. Pursue this obsession full time. 
I bought this property to act as my paranormal headquarters. It has more space than what's needed for now, but as I continue investigating, I can grow into it. The goal for my paranormal headquarters is to have I a robust move. merchandise shop and a paranormal museum. I hope the income earned from the tiny shop and museum ensures my business is sustainable. The paranormal museum will allow folks to see haunted relics and gain insight on why ghosts inhabit a home or location. Mm, okay. Hey, what's up, Stephanie P? What's up, uh, Lily and Shamrock and Blue Burbus and Joey's Home Gym? Welcome. Good to have all you guys. All right. Hey, hey, we're moving around. Uh, when you approach an object that you can interact with, the hand icon will appear, notifying you that you are able to do so. To interact with an object, you must line the crosshair up with the object. Once the crosshair is glowing, press the interact button to interact. That is pretty, uh, pretty typical. Okay. Museum hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, Sunday and Monday closed. Merch, t-shirt, $12, hat, 10, mug, 8. Please acquire at the front desk if curious about other paranormal services. But okay. I would like to know who this guy's merch vendor or maker is. Because those prices are cheap. Holy shit. Uh, oh, I think I can interact with this? Spirit, turn on some music. Okay. Spirit? Do I have like an AI assistant named Spirit? What? <laughs> we have some like EDM or some dance club music that's about to go on. That's... <laughs> Turn off the music. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Uh, can I interact with the computer? No, not yet. Maybe with the keyboard? Okay. Maybe I'm just supposed to go to the door. Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. I want a hat. Can I wear a hat? Paranormal Museum. Oh, we got some news. We got some news. Whoa, that's a trippy effect. What's up, Ulysses? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Misty? Good to see you, Misty. JC2010, welcome. Good to have you. All right, not just about the dough. An argument at a pop... I, I missed it. Damn it. It's too busy taking a drink and reading chat. <laughs> I got distracted. Health, circle x2.x2. X2. While teachers are enforcing stricter rules about hand washing, healthcare officials warn that infection of the CoTZ Will continue to spread oh so they have like they have like their own covid in this can i leave okay that actually quits okay we're figuring it out what happens if i go i should head to my office in the back and check my emails office in the back and check emails it's pretty dark in there man i don't know about that what's over here an ancient warrior a book of corpses excuse me all right you know what um no, I'm in staff only. Can I go in here? Hello? 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 Okay, I can't go in there. Uh, office in the back. Is it like in the backpack? Like the backpack. That's, that's the door to the same place. <laughs> the coots, seriously? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Where's my office, dude? Is this not my office? This is... This looks like a computer. Oh, there's my temperature data, EMF data, audio data, full. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Office in the back. There's no computer back here. Jojo Rod, thanks for becoming a channel member at the cadet level. Appreciate that support, man. Helps out a bunch. Where am I supposed to go? No, under it's got to be here, right? Line the cursor up with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've lived here my whole life, but I still like to look at the map before heading to an investigation. I still like to. <laughs> so, Bar Harbor, Celeste Sea, Big River Bay, Maple Barrens, Historical District, Old Town, Industrial Park, The Bluffs, Eagle Farms, Two Farms, Black Ridge Woods, New Edilion, 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 Hey, we got a water thing. Why don't I have two computers? What is I should all this? check out my gear to ensure everything is working correctly and charged. I should. Oh, this is all the gear. Okay. Why? Why are there faces? No, those aren't faces. Those are like boarded up windows. Toggle the flashlight on and off. A trusty battery-operated flashlight because we prefer to investigate at night in the dark. 
This is our primary means of light. Uh, okay. Hello? <laughs> I can barely see, but I can look down. I have no legs! I'm a legless man! All right, what about this? What is this? Un camera, an HD full spectrum camera with night vision. This ensures we are able to capture the most subtle materializations. Investigators are encouraged to take as many photos as needed, but they will only update their notes when a photo of something paranormal has been captured. Some investigators believe that darkness can enhance a ghost's ability to manifest. Take photo, toggle night vision. Um, okay. How do I... There's a camera. How do you take photo? Night vision, okay. Taking a photo. Gotcha. All right. We're figuring it out. Audio recorder, a common digital recorder. Unlike the industry standard, we do not leave this device on all night. Our investigators will turn on the recorder for five second intervals. Record audio. Some ghostly sounds, such as distant bells or chimes, may not be captured with the recorder, but are obviously signs of paranormal activity. Investigators may choose to perform an electronic voice phenomenon EVP session. In these sessions, they can ask the spirit specific questions while leaving the recorder on momentarily. They will then immediately play the audio back, determining if a disembodied voice was captured. This type of evidence is more convincing than other paranormal noises because it's a direct interaction between investigator and ghost. So it's like the spirit box. Yeah, I see you guys saying there. Eric, I don't know if I said hi. Welcome, Eric. I hope you're doing good. Uh, Kulani89, good to have you. Welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, pick this up. Pick this up. That's the EMF, right? EMF meter, a meter for detecting elevated electromagnetic field levels. Because every electronic device emits EMF, it's imperative to take notice of a location's devices and not jump to any conclusions. This is done by debunking. Once you have spent enough time reviewing the anomaly and determined it's not paranormal, it will be debunked. Oh, so like you got to stay next to the things that are emitting EMF. Maybe this is why people call it the most realistic ghost hunting game. All right. Temperature sensor, a handheld sensor for detecting cold spots. After an investigator has found a cold spot and determined its boundary, they will update the notes in their investigation journal. All locations have natural fluctuations in temperature, so it's key to take a baseline reading. Based on the user's preference, temperature units can be changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we get to batteries. Pick up, pick up, pick up. I guess I don't need batteries. All right. Well, we have all of our equipment. Okay. All right. All right, computer. He said I should check my emails, right? <laughs> Could the dude have a creepier desktop background? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> All right, let's look at our inbox. Ooh, email. Before Conrad can visit a location, he must first be invited there. You will need to check your email regularly to see if you have new invitations. While reading an email, use your mouse or controller to hover over any key points of the email and add them to your notes. Selected cues to focus on is critical to having a successful investigation. Without pro properly focusing on specific clues, you may not be able to acquire proper evidence. You can view your notes while operating the PC by selecting the notes tab. These notes will also be available in your notebook, so you'll have them handy while investigating a location. You may only have six topics of interest in your notebook per investigation, so be sure to select them wisely. You can always return later to focus on a different matter. Oh, so I did read in the Steam description real quick, I did read that if you're having trouble with a hunt or you're having trouble with a location or whatever, you can leave without having figured stuff out or how out having gotten a resolution and you could come back later and some places have multiple paranormal events or hauntings going on and you like solve one at a time in some in some cases oh is stream elements here i actually don't know that did stream elements pop in let's see hold on let's see stream elements are you going to answer that fucking did message oh my god stream elements is here man can you believe it killer galaxy imbo what's up welcome to the stream good to have you david widman 
Welcome. Good to see you as well. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Don't bring stream on that curse in. All right, let's see. Um, uh, 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 okay, close. Wait, 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 wait. What else? What else is here? I don't see any emails right now. Archives? Uh, to ensure an investigation has the highest chance of success, it's best to do as much archival research as possible. A set amount of archival information will be available once Conrad receives an email from his next client. You will learn more about locations by picking up items found on site. These items will be added to the archives. It's advisable to review all collected material. While reviewing the archives, you'll be able to hover over the text with your mouse or controller and add clues to your notes. This information will increase the chances of having a successful investigation. You may only have six topics of interest. Yeah, same thing as the other. Damn it. I got to get used to the buttons. Audio player. Any audio collected during an investigation can be very difficult to understand and will usually need to be played back several times to be properly understood. The audio. This is very realistic. Holy shit. The audio player will allow you to replay any audio collected on an investigation. You can select which track you wish to hear a few ways. The next buttons will allow you to skip to the next or previous track, depending on what you select. The location selection buttons allow you to navigate audio tracks by location. The ghost buttons enable you to navigate by selection by ghost. You can slow the speed of the audio tracks to one fourth, one half, three fourths, and normal. The volume buttons enable you to decrease or increase. And audio tracks that correspond to an EVP question will have that question listed towards the bottom of the audio player. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's up, Josh G? Welcome, man. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. Um, but, but Connor, good to have you. I hope you're doing good. Uh, Skilly, did you set up uh, the stream elements to do the 8-ball command? I did not, Electro. Um, I haven't, like, really investigated or dug into the 8-ball stuff, so I just haven't set it up. Slime. Slime. Supernatural logistics for investigative mechanisms and equipment is the main ghost investigation equipment warehouse located within New uh, E. Dolan. Your XP is transferred into credits, which will you use to purchase equipment. The items within Slime are organized into categories. As you select categories, the corresponding items will be displayed with a brief sales description. Upon purchasing an item, it will only show up in the office after you return from the investigation. It will be available in your truck immediately. All right. Last thing down here is the wiki. I'm going to be a good ghost hunter, guys. That's why I'm doing. I know this. I know you guys are probably like, just get to hunt. But I, I, this game, you're supposed to take your time. You're supposed to be methodical and you're supposed to be a good researcher. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Mari, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Virgo, good to see you as well. Hope you're doing good. Veil of Moonlight. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. All right, Wiki. The Wiki is a vast repository of information that will provide insight into many different topics pertaining to ghost hunting. This repository is divided into different categories. Home, locations, spirit guide, demonology, and tutorials. The information within the Wiki cannot be modified by the player and is it intended to expand on the lore and history of the game's world. Additionally, you are able to take notes. Yes, yeah, same thing. Six... Home page is the wiki welcome page and we'll have any new information. Locations will have historical information about key areas within the property. You may be able to take notes on these areas. Uh, spirit guide describes each type of spirit that can be encountered. Each type of spirit has specific qualities and evidence that can be collected from them. Demonology is the study of demons or beliefs about demons and their hierarchy. This section... Are there demons too? What? <laughs> But excuse me. <laughs> hey, what's up, aka Ruby and Madam Lulu? Welcome. Good to have both of you guys. I hope you're doing good. Spacewalker, good to see you, man. I hope you're well. And uh Franca the Sniper, welcome to the stream as well. Good to have you. All right. <clears throat> what else am I supposed to do now? I did that. I didn't have any emails, bro. I didn't have any I didn't have any emails. I need an email to start an investigation, right? Okay, we've already... Like, how do I... How do I... How do I... Do? Come on. Email, 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 email. Email. Hey, there we go. All right. Tammy Wentz. June 15th, Evergreen Lane. Dear Conrad. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I have, like, I can move this... Okay. My family and I moved into our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. 
It's an old farmhouse without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced the home is haunted. I believe I was the first to experience anything supernatural. I began hearing odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs. Okay, let's add that to our notes. While I was home alone on the main floor, my husband would tell me I was just hearing things until he had an experience himself. He was in the garage a few months back and swears to have seen a man av of average build suddenly appear. Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a note. At first, he thought someone had broken into the garage, but when he had made eye contact with him, he made a violent choking sound and vanished. Since then, my husband has been more sympathetic to my concerns. Violent choking sound? Fuck, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Holy shit. All right. Um, recently, we've started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of our eyes. Once immediately after seeing the shadow, I heard a sinister disembodied voice. Our youngest children who share a room state that they have an imaginary friend who is a child about their age. All right, hold on. That means this place is double haunted, right? Because the her husband saw a man of average build, and then their kids are seeing a child. This is double haunted, right? Double fucking haunted. All right, we're gonna add. We 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 got the man thing. We're gonna add the violent choking, and we're gonna add. I don't think the glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of his eye, like. That, I feel like that's a lesser clue, right? Disembodied voice maybe means EVP, right? So we'll add that because I think that's a good one. And then I want to add the thing about the child because that's a like, that's another ghost, right? Or another paranormal thing. Um, Let's see. Initially, we thought this was just imaginative play, but as we are experiencing these oddities, I'm fearful that they're all connected. Ooh, so maybe is that a hint like that the kid ghost is not actually a ghost, just kids being kids? Codename Leo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. CDZ, welcome. Good to see you. Gast, welcome. Good to have you as well. All right. We've also experienced kitchen items being thrown about. Poltergeist, maybe? Sometimes we simply hear a ruckus from the kitchen, but other times there really is a mess to be cleaned up. On one occasion, a jam jar mysteriously shattered on the floor. I went to grab a broom to clean the mess, but when I turned back around, the mess vanished and everything was put back into place. All right, we're going to put that as our last our last note, I think. It doesn't seem like we are in any danger, but these events have our family all shaken up. Could you please help us? I know you prefer to do investigations overnight, so we'll make arrangements to ensure the house is available for you. I look forward to your response. Thank you in advance. All right, how do I... Uh, yeah, I'm going to help you guys. Where do I... Where do I... Do I go to the map now? Wait, wait, wait. I have my... Hold on, do I do research now? I don't have anything in the archives, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> Am I supposed to go to the wiki and look up some of this stuff? No? Okay. All right, that's fine. Do I go to the map and, like, select the location? Evergreen Lane, yep. Do you want to investigate this location? Yes, I'm not ready for this, guys. I'm not ready. Takio Yaki said, I swear to God, if a ghost seems pops like up the on this family <laughs> isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. What do you mean put their minds at ease? Their house is haunted. I'm not. What was that? Excuse me. <laughs> Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Ghost problems? We can help. Call 555-489-1456. Quick, somebody call that. Is that a real number? <laughs> Don't call that. That could actually be somebody real. I would hope that the guy would check that. Uh, I could just drive away. Okay. Oh, do I not have any equipment? Was I supposed to buy equipment? No, all my equipment's in my hand. Okay, I'm good. It's in my little paranormal investigator tool belt back there. All right, let's go inside. Skilly, if I see a toaster, run. I should. 2038, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. JC2010. I think I might have already said hi, JC, but welcome. Good to have you. You really just here for the screams? I'm not ready, dude. 
I'm not ready. All right, the lights are on. But we're supposed to be in the dark, right? How do I... Like, where's my... Do I have to be in the truck for this? Okay, so they heard... Where's my notes? Footsteps upstairs. Man appeared in garage. Okay. Um, let's get spooky. Footsteps upstairs. Okay. Can I pull out another piece of equipment? Oh. And then I could change it to Celsius. All right. Well, I'm American, so I need Fahrenheit because I'm a bitch. All right. 69 degrees. That's not a bad giggity. It's not a bad temperature for a house. Hello? Go. Was that me? Was that me or was that footsteps upstairs? Oh, no. What happens if we turn this on? Okay. All right. <laughs> that's me, right? That's me, that's me, that's me. Okay. What is this? What is this door right here? Is this a closet? Who, who designed this house? That might be the... Temperature? Investigation progress? Why is the temperature... Why did the temperature drop right there? Do you guys see that? It didn't drop that much. It's dropping again over there. These temp readings are unusual. Temp readings are unusual. More unusual? Let's go in here. Seems like the kids' room. They were playing with an imaginary friend, remember? Okay, just hold it there. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Okay, so it's not... I found some irregular cold spots, which makes me believe I should focus on this a bit more. Okay. All right, well, well we will do that. Uh, what happens if we close the door? So the kids were here where they were playing with an imaginary friend, right? Nerdy Taylor Tots, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Keely Halliford, welcome to the stream. Shorty, welcome. Good to have you. I hope you guys are doing good. Paige, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I got to open it down here. Who opens the door down at the bottom? Oh, oh that's because there's something. There's a, there's a thing. This item is a valuable piece of information that will add to the archival database on the PC at your office. This item may also automatically unlock additional related archival information while reviewing this article on your pc at the office you may be able to take notes on this item which could facilitate investigations okay so we got to look out for items like that there were cold hey what's up dr jekyll stein welcome good to have you there were cold spots in this room it is butt cheeks dark when you turn your flashlight off holy shite bro Okay, let's open the door. I was getting weird temperature readings over here too. Master bedroom or guest bedroom? These people don't have any sheets on their bed. What's wrong with them? Who sleeps on just the mattress? Put it, put it, at least put a sheet down. I don't like this, dude. I don't like this. It is way too non paranormally right now. I feel like I, 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 uh, I, 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 hello? Anything? Any items? Wait. Another cold spot? Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. All right. Temperature readings are paranormal. What was that? Did you guys hear that? You guys heard that coughing, right? Somebody was coughing. What the fuck, dude? Wait, I hear shuffling? I hear shuffling. What? Ah, hey, hey, I was not moving, bro! Okay, the temperature readings are paranormal. We've gotten that. We need to use uh, another instrument. What was that? No, 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 no. 
If it's a kid ghost, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit, bro. What was that? All right, is that the light switch that it's getting? Remember, uh, electromagnetic interference can come from other, other things, or you know, electronic devices, like the TV. We got a level three from the TV. That makes sense, though. But I'm not getting an investigation progress bar. The computer, level three. When I point it at it, it's level three. So, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, Killer Galaxy Imba, you're fine. I don't know why Stream Elements deleted your messages. It's being a bitch. Don't worry about it. I see him, though. You're all good. No worries. All right, so I'm getting electromagnetic interference from the electron... Oh, the hand, the hand symbol scared the ever-living shit out of me, bro. Okay. All right, D dude, I am... I am very... I'm scared. I gotta be honest. I don't like this at all. There's nothing electronic in here. What is in here that's electronic, bro? I want to crouch. I want to get as small as possible. But I can't. Dude. <laughs> what was that? Level five? Excuse me? Excuse me, bro? What the absolute... What is on the wall that is level five, dude? What is out in the hallway? I swear to God, if a ghost child peeks around that door at me... Oh my God, guys. Why did I start with this game for Spook October? That's not... I shouldn't be getting EMF readings from the window. Should I? I don't know. How does EMF work? I didn't know. Okay, we already opened that. Uh uh is it is it is it the light maybe? Like if I point it at the light, no. I feel like I should stay here for a sec because I was getting I was getting EMF. Alright, nothing about EMF. Okay, we should keep using it. <laughs> that 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 was not me. That was the stair sound? Try the bed. You saw a flash. This bed? No. It's down. Is it the power outlet? No. Ooh, the bed. The lights on the bed. The hamper. The blocks. The power outlet again. The power outlet, kind of. Not a level five, though. We were getting an investigating and a level five for a second there. Dude, I swear to God. Bro, bro, this floor got to stop squeaking. I'm not going to make it. Level five again. I don't know what that was from. I'm not, I'm not getting like a full. Dude, this is too much. I just, I need to see the ghost. Please, I can't keep going on like this, dude. I can't. It's too much. The buildup is too much. I'm gonna lo I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind when I actually see this thing. How am I not getting any investigations for this? Level three again for the TV. Hey, is that an? That looks like an Xbox. Kinda looks like a 360. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't even know if you can be killed in an I don't know how this game works. That's my truck outside, right? I was about to say what kind of demon shit is setting outside, bro? That's my truck though. <laughs> you guys heard that, right? That was a fucking kid voice, dude. How do I... Can I mark that down? Dude, say... What do I do? 
No, stop coughing! <laughs> I don't... It sounded like a little boy to me. Oh, man. One of my notes say, man appeared in garage, choking sound, shadow disembodied voice. So we've heard the footsteps. We've heard the shadow disembodied voice. The shadow disembodied voice sound like a young kid. We had a lot of temperature stuff and EMF in the kids room there. Kitchen items were thrown around. Okay. Is this the kitchen? Is the kitchen upstairs or is the kitchen downstairs? This can't be. I mean, this looks like a kitchen. But who has their kitchen upstairs? Is that... Dude, please, 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 for the love of God, please. What's up, Allie? Welcome to the stream. Okay. These lights are <laughs> acting funny. What lights are Why acting funny? Oh, the, the, the EMF reader. Okay, so we have evidence of EMF now, kind of. Keep investigating is saying spend some more time in the area. Dude, I've been in this area for so long, although I know you're supposed <laughs> I heard a little girl right there. Hey! Hey! This is too much, dude. Too much. Too much. Too much, bro. I can't. I have I have literal goosebumps right now. I don't I don't like dude. If you guys have, you need to put headphones on. You need to put headphones on. Stop coughing! Uh, you need to put headphones on and turn the volume up. My volume is, I don't know how loud you guys have your volume, but my volume is really high. It's, this is really dis, this is really, un uh, I can't even form words, dude. It's uncomfortable. Um, stop! Stop laughing! Okay. Okay, I'm supposed to stay here, right? With the I'm supposed to get more more EMF readings. But I'm not getting any investigating. It's just like dude, I feel like the stairs are I feel like the stairs are haunted, bro. The stairs are haunted. The stairs are fucking haunted. The stairs are fucking Dude, stop. Stop, bro. <laughs> no more. No more. I can't do it. What, what am I supposed... What am I... Okay, let's try something else for now. What about the paranormal recorder? How do, how do I do this? I... <laughs> I don't want it, dude. Oh, my fucking God, dude. No, 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 no. How do I do this? Record. It does five second intervals, remember? Uh, Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Dude, this is cool, but fucking terrifying. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? So like you record it for a little bit and then you play it back. Do you know why I'm here? How many here? Oh God, dude. Do you know why I'm here? No response so far. Hey, what's up, Clayton? Welcome. How many people are here other than me? I'm not getting any EVP responses right now. How many people are here other than me? Hmm. Is this your home? Let's just try everything. Let's see what happens. Is this your home? Okay. 
Why are you here? <clears throat> Why are you here? They stopped talking as soon as I brought out the the started doing EVP. Can name? You tell me your name. Name? Name? Can you tell me your name? So I don't think it's getting we're gonna have EVP, right? It just doesn't seem possible. So we can record for a little bit. Then we can play it. Wait, did I just drop that? I did. Aw oh, damn, now my equipment buttons are all messed up. <laughs> damn. What's that? Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I just got audio evidence? I've obtained one piece of audio evidence that cannot be explained. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? All right, all right. Let's, let's... Uh, this bathroom feels like a nice, safe space. Uh, wow, that's great audio evidence. Little kids laughing. What is that over there? What what flashed on the left side of my screen? I feel like there's so much for us to uncover and understand about the game. I hear the coughing. So... I have obtained some audio evidence that cannot be explained. Yep. Should I keep going for audio? I'm trying to be super methodical like the game tells you you should be. You're supposed to take your time. All right, let's get the uh, camera out. I'm focusing on this area because we've gotten a lot of evidence around here. We'll go downstairs and do the same stuff. I'm just... I heard footsteps, so I took a picture. What was that? I heard like a, I heard like a, like a, like a click sound. What is that? What's clicking? What is that? Excuse me? Hello? Who <laughs> ah, ah, did a door shut? Did the door to the bathroom shut? Is that what happened? I missed it. Bro. Bro. Dude, get the fuck in here. Is it in the kids' room? It said when we take. Yeah, what is that sound? Is it just when I bring the camera out? Okay. Dude, the, the, the fucking audio up here, man. These ghosts will not shut the hell up. All right, I'm not getting anything. So I've gotten EMF temperature and audio basically, right? Dude, did you guys hear that? Oh no. Stop. Stop. Go away. The whispers are very fuck. The very <laughs> they're very fucking creepy. You think it's the camera turning off and on. Okay, that makes sense. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Oh god. Okay, I got more evidence with the recorder. I have a lot of audio evidence, dude. Let's try the recorder in here. And then we'll go back downstairs. We also have to check the garage. 
Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I almost, is that the meter on the left? Is that filling up for audio evidence? Is that what that is? We're getting lots of audio, so let's stick with that. I feel like one more audio and we'll have filled up whatever that left thing on the side of the... <sighs> no, 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 dude, what the fuck? They're plotting my death. I don't know if you guys hear that. They are plotting my death. I can't fully make out what they're saying either, but remember when we get back to the office, we can increase the audio, we can decrease it, we can change the speed so that we can make it out. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Okay, is that audio all the way up? What does it say? I've obtained significant audio evidence of paranormal activity. All right, how is our guy? Wow, that's great audio evidence. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's great audio. How is our guy so calm? <laughs> okay, I think I filled up. That is audio evidence. All right, I think I have filled up audio evidence, right? I'm good on audio evidence. I feel like I definitely need more um, EMF. So we got to try it. EMF has been so hard to get though. Maybe we'll try downstairs. You know what? We've been, we've spent a lot of time, a lot of time up there. Dude, dude, did a light just go off somewhere? Oh, oh my fucking God. Please, for the love of. Dude, I'm about to become religious. I'm about to become religious, bro. Hey! Somebody's walking in the refrigerator, man! All right. They so stop turning off. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. They're fucking with the lights, bro. They're fucking with the lights. They're fucking with the goddamn lights. BMF yes. should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Hey, just getting warmed up. I got an achievement. Hell yeah. I know I've got a ghost heavy breathing in my ear. I at this point for this location, that's just that's just status quo. The f oh, that's the reflection. I was like, what the fuck is that reflection, dude? Okay, can I get out of here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave. Oh, shit. How am I doing? The EMF meter has absolutely detected paranormal activity. <laughs> absolutely, dude. So I think the way this works is we have to gather the evidence and then we... And then we have to go back to the office and analyze it and piece it together. And then maybe give the family answers like, oh yeah, you have a poltergeist, you should move out. Or you have a whatever. Oh my god. Level four? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? That was so loud! That was so loud in my ears. I don't know what that was, but holy shit. What the fuck is that? I ah! hey! 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 Things are breaking in the kitchen like the no like the thing said. Dude, 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 what's in here? Bathroom? We haven't seen a ghost yet. What is this? A closet? Hey! Dude, I'm too much. I'm, 
I'm, I can't, man. <sighs> Level five. How is that not, how is that not adding to my EMF? Oh, this place is, this place is, this place is fucking haunted, dude. The TV, that's what it was. Ghost turned on the fucking TV, bro. Dude, why? Why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, why would it make that sound when you turn the TV off? All right, fuck it. Well, I mean, this makes sense. That's the, uh, that's the, the breaker. Bro, why your basement so creepy? Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, yeah, this. I figured out why it's haunted. This family's your serial kill killers. Bro. Oh, fuck, dude. Where's the cord? Ooh. I can't. This is. This is intense. <laughs> Are there any more like special items for me to pick up? Do I have enough evidence to to call it? Ah! Bro, bro. Please, please stop. Okay. We we didn't need to do all that. This light, I did not turn this one on. Ghosty poo did that. Oh, ghosty poo bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This item is a valuable piece of information added to the database. What does it say? Dated October 18th, 1902. John something. William Carter. Deed of land. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This picture haunted as fuck. Okay. What was that? I heard level five. Level five steady. It's like, it's like ghost box. You guys have heard of Pandora's box. There's a ghost in there. What the fuck, dude? All right. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go up into the level five EMF, please. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, kill me. Kill me. All right, we we need to go out to the garage. I feel like I have the audio data. The temperature data and the EMF are kind of the same. But I can't get the e EMF to do the investigating thing that much. So that's why I'm still focusing on it. All right. The let's look at our notes. We've confirmed footsteps upstairs. We've heard shadow disembodied voices. We've heard kid ghost voices. We've had items thrown in the kitchen. We haven't seen the man in the garage or the choking sounds, but those were together and the husband saw them in the garage. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see what's, what's going on in here. Is there going to be a man? I, I'm, I'm, I'm so not ready for this. Okay. Hi. Level fucking. Well, this is lovely. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come out and say it. It's, uh, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. You guys didn't leave all the doors unlocked for me. Jesus, how fucking big. Why is this? This is like two garages, bro. Who has two cars in one garage? And then you go over through the back of this garage. And there's another garage with another car. These people are low-key rich, dude. Hello? 
It has been oddly quiet other than a little bit of EMF. Oh, the garage door actually works. Holy shit. Hey, no worries, Dr. Chuckle Stein. Take care. Have a good one. Poops McGee, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Uh, what was that? Did you guys hear that? What was that? Whoa. Look at the sky. I'm going to get killed by a ghost while I'm doing that. Dude. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try. Let's try the audio recorder here. Because we're looking for choking sounds, right? In the garage. Based on the note. Let's ask the guy. Let's ask anyone here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? No, I can't move when I do that. I can only turn. Is there anyone I can't... here? Who would like to speak with me. I can't move side to side. We're going to ask uh living presence. Do you like the current family living here? I guess Do you like the current family living here? Hmm. Hmm. Is this your home? Is it? Is it? <clears throat> Is this your home? I do need photos, but I don't know. I already have three different types of evidence. I don't know if it's like Phasmo in that regard. Will I get photos? Like, because I've already gotten three other types? Is it possible to get photos too? That door doesn't open. Get a photo looking into. Yeah, it's the camera making that noise, and I was freaking. <laughs> I was freaking out about it. All right, let's open that. Oh man. I don't think I don't think the man in the I I don't think there's a guy in the garage. I gotta be honest. All right, let's go back to the house and try for more photos before we leave. I feel like we might have, I feel like we might have gotten our evidence so far for here. We didn't have any ghost a show itself though. Had it be creepy as shit. Did I leave that door open? Did I? I don't remember. Oh, dude, when that hand pops up that you can open something, it scares me. <laughs> hey, welcome to the other Lily as well. I hope you're doing good. Hey, what's up, Charlie? Welcome. Good to have you. Nothing, nothing paranormal is happening right now. I feel like it's lulling me into a false sense of security, bro. All right, we're going to go back upstairs because that's where we had the most amount of paranormal activity in this house, right? I heard him. Did you guys fucking hear that bastard? Fucking sh sh shut up, dude. All right, bro. All right, that's enough. Photos don't appear. They have this. They got two, two motherfucking kitchens, bro. I'm just taking, I'm being a great photographer right now. I'm just trying to get some paranormal activity. Anywhere, somewhere. What about this bathroom? Haunted ass bathroom. Somebody die on the toilet? What about the stairs? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the evidence is going to be camera. I'm going to be honest. 
EMF though. All right. Let's call it. Let's call it. I heard the creepy ass kids laughing, dude. Let's just, you know, I ain't going back in that house. At least not right now, bro. Ain't happening. Ain't motherfucking happening. Ain't happening. Let's go. Let's take the evidence that we have. Let's go back. Let's do the investigations. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Let's get out. All right, experience eight. Temperature readings eight. 16 for audio. So yeah, no photographic evidence. The EMF meter, ooh, 32 total. Lifetime total experience, okay. The EMF meter located several field spikes which were determined to be paranormal. Since other evidence was collected, it reinforces the theory that ghosts absorb EMFs to interact with the environment. Temperature readings. The cold spots detected during the investigation were identified as paranormal. Since other evidence was found, it reinforces the theory that ghosts absorb thermal energy to interact with the environment. Audio recordings and overwhelming amount of audio evidence was collected during this investigation. All right. Uh, the investigator obtained evidence on the mentioned devices. This result is consistent with haunted locations. Um, generally more investigations are required to determine the nature of the haunting and bring closure to the entity. All right. So we have to keep, we have to, you have to come, you have to come and go. We have to like learn more about it, I guess, to be able to help it. Hey, what's up, Dracice? Welcome, man. I hope you're doing good. <clears throat> Let's see. We're back at the office. What is this computer for? If I can't check my email, is, is it just for show? Show and tell, huh? All right. All right, let's see. Let's see what's up here. Archives, right? How do I... How do I... Why is nothing showing up? Why does it keep telling me... Like, it's, it's like... What am I supposed to do? Right? Like, what, what, what do I? Okay, that just puts me away from the, the PC. I'm confused here. I'm confused. Like, how do I get it to show... Yeah, that just puts me away. I feel like I'm clicking, but it doesn't go past anything here. <laughs> Why am I opening up multiple stuff? Wiki. Okay. All right, does anybody know? I'm feeling good, Dracice. Oh, okay. Here we go. There's the audio. There's the archives. Okay. Is that like just... It can't be buggy. I have 32 credits. Okay, I can buy stuff. All right, hold on. All right. All right. Now I think we actually have everything. I don't know what I did different, but it's okay. All right. Uh, new Edelon property history. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Ridge Woods. Do I have anything in here? Here we go. Here we go. The picture. What can I what can I learn from this? Can I learn everything anything? Uh Search? Can I actually search? I might be too stupid for this game, guys. All right, hold on. Evergreen Lane, uh, property history. So current owner is Wentz. Though that's who emailed us, right? Purchased it for three hundred thousand. Uh, it's had a few different families. Okay, this family only lived there two years. This family lived there seven years. 
This family lived there for four, and that family, Bennett family, lived there a long time. Then we go back even far further. Carter family, 1902. That bill of sale we found was from 1902. Hmm. We're missing a piece of evidence right there. Oh, oh, I can click on this and I'm adding it to my notes. Okay. Remodeling provokes activity. Okay. Many families had memories. How did I get Carter had a temper? Built in 1902. Liz seemed so happy. What is this? Carter had a temper. Oh, a police report. All right, hold on. On July 18th at 7.48 p.m., I was notified of loud shouting heard from the farmlands near Black, Black Ridge Woods. I then drove to the only residence in Black Ridge Woods to respond. As I approached the residence, I saw two men shouting. One of the men was in overalls and was clutching what looked to be a bottle. The other man was wearing a long white coat and appeared to be a doctor. I later identified these men as Mr. William Carter and Mr. Miles Willis, respectively. I then saw Mr. Carter swing and hit Mr. Willis over the head with the bottle, grab him by his coat collar, and proceed to yell at him. Willis did not attempt to retaliate. After exiting my vehicle, I immediately detained Mr. Carter, who remained cooperative. I took a statement from both parties and transported Mr. Carter to the county jail. Along the way, Mr. Carter muttered a few choice vulgarities regarding the lack of remedy for his children's illnesses. He eventually broke down and cursed himself for drinking and overworking while his children suffered from consumption. Ultimately, no charges were filed. Oh, that's, that's fucking sad, dude. That's sad, man. Uh, oh, no. 1912 died August 9th. Acute pulmonary tuberculosis. Three and a half months old? Such a sad fate. So Elizabeth Carter died. And so did Thomas Carter? Both the kids died from tuberculosis? All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important info, so we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do when it was built. We'll do Liz seemed happy. Remodeling provokes activity. That's all, okay, we could take all of these as clues. Holy shit. Interesting, man. Yeah, TB was very bad. TB is still... This is not... I was going to say fun fact, but this is not a fun fact. But uh, TB is still... Outside of the United States, TB is like the number one infectious disease killer in the world. TB kills more people than any other infectious disease. TB is really, really bad. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of John Green and Hank Green, right? The Vlog Brothers. If you ever watch them, they uh, have championed a cause recently to um, to to for the makers of the most used tuberculosis drug to release their patent, essentially, which is going to allow other drug manufacturers to make the same tuberculosis drug and hopefully make it cheaper so that people in other countries can have easier access to it and there can be more of it produced. But TB is really bad. It is still really bad still really bad so uh john green did have cancer and he announced not too long ago that he is in remission so uh he finished his uh chemo and radiation and he's in remission so that's really good he had uh um what is it called uh lymphoma right i think yeah tb is very bad though Paolo, man. Hey, what's up? I, 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 I think I said hi earlier. If I didn't, I'm sorry, Paolo. I know you've been here for a bit. Welcome. Miss Paolo, hi to you as well. TB is very bad. I'm glad to hear that you get tested, Paolo, because, um, yeah, being an ER, doc, or ER nurse, you're exposed to quite a lot of stuff. All right, let's see. Haunted, the wiki. All right, hold on. Let's, let's put our notes over here. Page is dedicated to the community of paranormal investigators. Uh, the photo shown above was taken by Catherine Novak in 1901 and was used with local advertising, communicating information about tours at the Bar L Harbor Lighthouse. Okay. Local paranormal investigators have been researching this place for years. Most recently, a couple of investigators have obtained compelling evidence 
around the playground at the entrance to the bar lighthouse. Investigators are perplexed on what or who this ghost could be. All right. Um, how do I get, how do I get home? Spirit guide? Ooh. Oh my God, this is so much to read. Residual ghosts. Residual ghosts are common spirits who act on the same event over and over, unaware of their surroundings. Paranormal investigators are under the impression that these memories are tied to specific events of the spirit's previous life. For unknown reasons, these memories have been imprinted on the world and replay at unpredictable moments. Because these spirits are unaware of the world around them, experts believe that they cannot intelligently interact with their environment. This may be why unexplainable sounds are usually heard during hauntings, and EVPs can never be obtained. Most haunted locations seem to be inhibited by residual ghosts. Investigators have frequently noted cold spots while investigating, which is something we noted, um, this ghost type, and changes in electromagnetic fields also seem to occur moments prior to manifestations. I feel like we did kind of get uh, EMF, like, before and after the ghosts would say something weird, right? Uh, Lapis, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Goober, I don't know if I said hi, Goober. Hi. Welcome. I hope you're doing good, Goober. Um... Hey, bye, Ziara. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. I appreciate it. Warrior7, good to have you. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> this photo was taken in 1896. It's credited as one of the first ver verifiable ghost photos ever taken. I <laughs> you're absolutely right, Pit KP. That's the best 1896 photo I've ever seen, too. Um, <clears throat> once the spirit's attachment item has been found and identified, investigators have claimed to use mugwort smudges to release the spirit. These testimonials often consist of acknowledging the spirit's presence and following orbs of light at a respectable distance while smudging the area. Okay. I've liked everything about this game so far. I'm going to say one thing. One little critique. They, this text is awful. Like the, the font or whatever they use. This is really hard to read. <laughs> please, if the devs see my video, please fix this. I'm too old to try to read this. <laughs> Intelligent ghosts. Intelligent ghosts have the capacity to communicate and interact with the living. They usually fall into one of two categories. The first category consists of people who have passed away and are now spirits who mysteriously linger in our world. After conducting initial research, investigators often determine that the former person had a strong connection to the location and now haunts it. Findings usually indicate that the individual lived in the home most of their life or passed away suddenly within it. Oftentimes, investigators witness irregularities with both the EMF meter. Oh, hey, I missed something from Dead Kitty. I'm so sorry, Dead Kitty. Dead Kitty did a super chat uh, for $5 Canadian. Said, let's have a great stream. Dead Kitty, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the super chat, Dead Kitty. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a bunch. You are awesome. Ari, welcome. Hannah, welcome. Good to see both of you. I hope you're both doing well. Good to have you. All right, the secondary secondary category consists of spirits known as shadow people. Is that is that the people that Yu-Gi-Oh banished to the shadow realm? Most paranormal investigators believe that these entities left their lives unfulfilled. In a rare number of cases, resolution for the spirit was identified and achieved, causing the spirit to disappear. One such case was re resolved by using juniper smudge sticks. The investigator reported smudging the house with the attachment item in hand. A dark cloud began to envelop their surroundings, and a foul whisper tried to lure them to a location. They followed the whispers and continued smudging the area. After a bit of labor, the whispering died away, and the spirit seemed to have been released. Hey, Paolo just gifted 10 channel memberships. Paolo, thank you so much. Miss Paolo, thank you as well. Very much appreciated. Misty! Misty got a channel membership. Josh G did as well. Electro got one. Alan Briggs. Bridget Anon. Bridget, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Anthony. Um, Kami. And who else? Kingslayer250. Nerdy Taylor Tots. Marcy and Theory. All just got channel memberships on behalf of Paolo. Alan Briggs as well. Paolo. Miss Paolo. Thank you again so much. I appreciate it. You rock. You guys rock. All right, um, they, uh, yeah, uh, after a bit of labor, the whispering died away and the spirits seemed to have been released. Shadow people seem to interact with EMF meters, temperature sensor, and various audio devices in a playful manner. Disembodied voices are often recorded during investigations, but EVPs have never been captured. We had all three of those. We had temperatures, 
we had EMF and we had a shit ton of diff disembodied voices. But EVP, we uh, we didn't get any response that I'm aware of. Shadow people seem to be the most photogenic ghost type. What? Well, okay, we didn't get any pictures. Investigators usually have at least one solid shadow person photo within their portfolio. A homeowner captured the shadow person poking around the house in early 1959. That's a really good picture for 1959. All right, just two more. This game is all about the investigation, guys. So I got to read this. I got to internalize it. We all got to internalize it. All right. Poltergeist. The name poltergeist comes from the German language and means noisy spirit. Research shows that poltergeist activity starts quietly and gradually increases until the homeowner finds it unbearable. Sometimes the noises have no apparent source, but other times they come from household items that have been mysteriously destroyed. Like the jam jar that the mom mentioned in the kitchen, right? Uh, some individuals who have encountered poltergeists claim to have been physically harmed by them. However, evidence suggests that these injuries were the result of being startled by a ghost and were not directly caused by one. Paranormal experts are torn between two theories about the nature of poltergeists. The first theory suggests that these ghosts are unknown life forms and not spirits of the deceased. This theory is plausible even though poltergeists are intelligent. There is often no evidence to match a poltergeist to any form or person. Additionally, EVP evidence is non-existent meaning that the poltergeist may be unable to use human language. The second theory suggests that poltergeists were former people who are unhappy with the home's current resident. The supporting argument for this theory points to the noisy disruptions, which seem human in nature. Both sides have supporting data, but the facts can only be determined through detailed investigations. Some investigators believe that when smudging with Rosemary and reciting stands in 134 from the Book of Corpses, a poltergeist can open a portal returning to their plane of existence. Investigators have been able to obtain strange audio from Poltergeist's antics. Throughout the years, generally a temperature drop occurs prior to any activity and an EMF spike occurs after. Man, you really gotta know your shit. Children's toys are seen floating in the air, allegedly taken under the control of a Poltergeist, 1982. All right, oh my God, demons. That's an exorcism, bro. This photo was taken in December of 73. Priests perform an exorcism on a young girl, supposedly possessed. She's floating! Supposedly possessed? She is possessed, bro. I think that is possessed right there, dude. That is possessed, if I've ever seen it, man, with a B. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Panthera, welcome. I don't know if I said hi, Panthera. And uh, Johnny Boy, good to have you. Welcome, welcome. Um, <clears throat> all right. Demons are very uh, vicious spirits. Who are capable of great cruelty and violence. Those ghosts, these ghosts are believed to have never been human and have existed for eons. They roam from location to location, preying on those who they consider most vulnerable. Research indicates that demons feed on the fear and pain of others, causing victims intense psychological distress. Usually the troubled homeowner observes negative changes from a member of their household, as if the demon has inhabited both the house and the individual. After an investigation is completed, it is often concluded that this individual has been possessed. Demons are rare, but their presence within a home is always apparent. The paranormal community has compiled some unsettling EVP phenomenon over the years. Multiple static cold spots can be found where unexplained noises occur. EMF spikes have also been noted in areas where the demon is thought to reside. Demons have been difficult to see and photograph in their natural form. When manifesting, they often take the form of something more innocent and less terrifying, such as a child. When a demonic, demonic, when a demonic entity, when a demonic entity has been determined to haunt a location, spiritual leaders of the homeowner's choice may get involved in an effort to cleanse the home and expunge the demon. Only the most seasoned paranormal investigators will attempt to exercise a demon without the aid of a spiritual leader. Ooh, that don't sound good, bro. So, all right. Based on all the evidence that we've gathered, here's my theory so far. It's not a demon, right? Doesn't match. There were okay. We didn't get EVP, especially super creepy EVP. I don't think it's a poltergeist because the only poltergeist-like activity that we kind of got was the stuff in the kitchen being thrown around, and we only had that happen like one time, right? And then, um, so I'm split between, and we know we think there are multiple ghosts, right? So I think there might be a shadow person, intelligent ghost, and I think there might be a residual ghost, right? Now, one of them is the is a child and one of them is an adult, I think. That's my working theory so far, right? Based on what we have. Demonology. Bro. All right, hold on. We got to read this. I'm sorry. 
even though we don't think it's demons right now. Amongst many religions and beliefs, there is a story of end times. These shared stories uh, attribute the catastrophes of the world to be brought on by the people of the world. However, the major force of this world's destruction is far greater than mere humanity. The evil that lurks and manipulates these events is said to be a hierarchy of demons. At the very top of this echelon are powerful deities summoned from godly seals to rule part of the world. They are the four horsemen. Oh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, bro. The demons that invade our world are of a lesser power since the aforementioned greater demons have no time for small pursuits. The horsemen send their cohorts to disturb the ethereal plane and ethereal. Is it ethereal or ethereal? What do you guys think? Um, plane and try to grab a foothold in our physical plane of existence. Most demons are deeply rooted in their own plane and portray attributes that display their power of origin and show allegiance to their supreme deity. Additionally, investigators have not been able to specifically identify these demons are able to invade our plane. All right, white horse conquest. He is envisioned as a noble adorned with a crown of the purest gold and brandishing a silver bow. He traverses outstretched lands seeking the rulers of the world to corrupt them by exploiting their greatest desires. By inducing considerable mistrust among the people, he invokes overwhelming panic and madness, coercing the affected to overthrow their kingdoms and to collapse. Lesser demons, water. Interesting. Red Horse, war, a timeless soldier with a taste for blood and chaos. He seeks to feed on the stress and anger built through the souls of the physical plane. The strength of his being is inflamed by quarrels and great wars, all of which he enticed, while never failing to, while never falling to another warrior. His mighty great sword is ever covered in the blood of many battles. Lesser demons are fire. Yo, these pictures are fucking dope, dude. Hey, what's up, John Gordon? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Warrior Seven said it's. E. Hariel, got an nonce on the A-H. <laughs> a peddler of medicine who heals no one. His scales of gluttony balance those who wish to indulge in abundance and shun the need of others in despair. Hope is bled from the world when he drank. Hope is bled from the world. Dude, these, these uh, four horsemen descriptions read like fucking metal lyrics, dude. You could turn this into a metal song, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, when he drains their sins to... When he drains their sins dry to bolster his own power. Moreover, he embraces worship from his followers at their own cost. A blood sacrifice. Lesser demons, earth. This thing does have a wiki, yeah. Pale horse, death. Death incarnate, an omen of the finite. She ventures abroad seeking the old and dying. Increasing the ominous cloud left in the wake of greater loss. Her presence siphons the wills of the greatest men, hardening their shell with numbness to repel consolation. Her scythe is the final judgment, which cuts a swath in her path, quelling the judgments of her brethren. Lesser demon shadow. Holy shit, they, this guy wrote a metal song for the demonology part. Oh, they're tutorials, okay. Uh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, interactions. What is it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what about slime? This is where we buy stuff, right? Supernatural logistics for investigative mechanisms and equipment. What a mouthful, bro! What a fucking mouthful. Hey, Avid Orchid with the three dollars stream elements donation. Thank you so much, Ava. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. You rock. Helps out a bunch. Appreciates it. You the best. Uh, dude, people poo on metal, but metal is that I love metal, dude. Metal is one of my favorite genres of music. By the way, by the way, tomorrow night, real quick, sorry, an aside, sorry, I know I keep like, my ADHD is all over the place. This game is awesome, though. Um, tomorrow night, we're gonna stream another spooky game. We're gonna play another one. And listen, before I say this, I just want to point this out. This is how you pronounce this, I promise you. And the reason I know is because IGP played this game and he wanted to make sure he pronounced it right. And so we looked it up together and we looked up several different pronunciations and we looked at the phonetic pronunciation. This is actually how you say it. I promise. Ad infinitum, right? Anyway, ad infinitum. We're going to we're going to play it tomorrow night. It's going to be awesome. IGP loves that game. 
says it's 10 out of 10. I can't wait to experience it. He's been wanting me to play it so that he and I can talk about it. So we're going to play Ad Infinitum tomorrow. But anyway, the reason I brought that up because we were talking about metal. This is how my brain works, right? We're talking about metal. There's a metal band or European metal band, and their name is Ad Infinitum. And they have a female lead vocalist. And my God, can that girl scream? That woman, I'm excuse me, she's a woman. Can that woman scream and sing so good so uh, band recommendation if you like metal and this is more like um it's a little bit of industrial a little bit of like uh melodic like if you like metal they're a good band but anyway check out ad infinitum just go to youtube look them up they're great um they're amazing i'll post some of my favorite songs later in the discord for them all right, let's see. I've got 32 experience points, 32 credits. It doesn't seem to be a leveling system, so I already have a flashlight. Oop, shit. All right, I already have a flashlight. Uh, light gear? Ooh, a laser pin. 65 credits. Okay, your boy is too broke for that. EMF? What's an EMF pod? Excuse me? EMF, uh, okay, we have that one, zero credits. EMF pod, a short range portable device for extra investigative coverage. 125 credits. The technology is based on the musical instrument called a theremin. Theremin, is it theremin or theremin? Theremin, theremin, theremin. There and back again, a hobbit's tale. All right, how long am I thinking of being in the stream? I'm gonna stream probably till like 12.30 uh, a.m. Eastern time. So we've still got like two hours, two hours and 15 minutes. There is a lot of lore. Yeah. Um, the technology is based on the, yeah, the closer a person or ghost gets to the device, the more it reacts compared to its EMF meter counterpart. Counterpart, the pod emits its own electromagnetic field rather than detecting it. With its 360 degree coverage, the pod will trigger lights to illuminate while an accompanying alarm will sound if the fields around it shift. Just turn it on, maneuver through the area in question, or place it down and listen out for its responses to changes in the environment. As this device is emitting its own EMF field, it's hard to discern evidence from the surrounding area. So it's recommended to use an EMF meter to find the origin more precisely. I still, by the way, I think a couple people asked and I never answered. I feel, I feel good. Um, I still have a little bit of like sinus congestion and nasal stuff. And uh, I'm noticing like my voice is getting a little weaker the more I talk. <laughs> Thermal devices, we don't have anything else right now. Audio, oh, dude. So we have the digital audio recorder. We got a parabolic mic, a pair of box, and a pair of vox. <laughs> what? <clears throat> All right, hold on. Parabolic mic, originally used as a spy tool or for bird watching. This microphone enhances sounds from long distances. Our custom audio monitoring device features a parabolic sound dish, microphone, and a viewfinding mon monocule. Mon monocular though the included high fidelity headphone through the included high fidelity headphones the investigator can hear a range of sounds at extended distances usable at many distances but more feasible for large locations the microphone can capture ambient audio just as well as a plain audio recorder this device is not suited for evp sessions so if you want evp you can't use that okay um, para box, not your average spirits box. This custom device was built specifically for paranormal investigators needing a little extra push in communicating with spirits. Similar to vintage handheld televisions, it's compact and easy to use. It uses TV tuner frequencies to sweep the airwaves, generating white noise. Intelligent entities could possibly use this energy to communicate with the world of the living. Some investigators claim to witness ghostly images on the integrated monitor as they try to communicate with the ghosts. Remote capabilities, none. Sensitivity, mid. Sensitivity, high. No remote capabilities. All right. Paravox. One of the less complex custom-made devices in our warehouse. This handheld device is, quite simply put, a ghost dictionary. <laughs> I like it. By harnessing the energy produced from the surrounding environment, the Paravox allows entity, entities access to its database of words. The device can produce a word chosen by the entity in response to the investigator's question. Depending on the circumstances and strength of the ghost, they could try communicating even without investigator inquiries. Whoa. So they could just use it. All right. All right. Oh, un, un camera. Do we unlock more stuff eventually? 
I wonder. Because I don't see a tripod. Oh, here's all the stuff. All right, release and exorcism tools, mugwort. So we actually end up getting rid of the ghosts once we figure out what they are. Juniper, thyme. So this is where you have to refer to the wiki, right? To know and figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with. Refer to the wiki, get the stuff to banish it or whatever. Oh, we have salt. I'm not going to read all those because we know we, we'll read them as we need to use each one. Uh, salt. Salt has been used in exorcism for hundreds, if not thousands of years. We know that all of those are used to banish. Uh, if not thousands of years, with its origins deriving from ancient pag pagan rituals. At some point in the past, it was determined to repel evil spirits. Eventually, this evolved into ensnaring demons by creating salt circles and then summoning them within it. If you're brave enough for the task, there is no other brand better suited than demon salt. <laughs> demon salt, man. Every container has been individually blessed and is guaranteed to put the brakes on any demon that has been summoned. <laughs> Used to ensnare demon ghosts. <laughs> all right, so that's all the stuff we could buy. Well, I've only got 32 credits. I don't think I need to buy anything. Let's check the audio that we got. And let's see. Let's see. Um, Evergreen Lane. All right, we had we had a lot of stuff recorded. Here's where we can increase. Let's pop. Let's pop it up a bit. Track 01. Skipping child. Let's listen. So it's just a laughing child who's skipping. Hold on. Let's see if we have it all the way up. Can we hear anything else? I swear to God, if I ever hear my own children sound like that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to poop. All right. Let's see what happens if we lower it. Let's see if like the, the well, like other than volume, right? Do we hear something else? Does it change? No, we can change the speed, right? How do we change the speed again? It says one times right there. If I do this, okay, these are different tracks. All right, hold on. What changes here? So we have a second track of skipping child. Wait, I hear, oh, okay, hold on. The volume's all the way up. Can I slow that down somehow? Listen again, hold on. I can't make that out. What the fuck are they saying? Oh, I can change the speed right here. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go to, to one fourth speed. Why did it go from sounding like a child whispering to Satan himself? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I what? Hold on, let's do, let's do, let's do three, four speed. Now it sounds like somebody else completely different. What the fuck? I'm not sleeping tonight. I am I am a hundred percent not sleeping tonight. Let's live it listen to it at half speed. I I can't make out any of that. Hold on, let's go back to the first track. What does it sound like at fourth speed? Bro. <laughs> All right. I got to say this whole audio feature of this game is really fucking cool, but fuck dude. Fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, 
Bro, this is some shit. <laughs> this is some shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Alright, three fourths. It sounds like a different person at every speed. All right, listen, I edit videos, right, as my job. And sometimes I, you, when you're editing, like once you've checked things, you'll like play it back at double speed or you'll play something back at half speed to do some audio editing or stuff. And typically when you cut something to half speed or you cut something to even three fourths or even a fourth speed, it sounds different and it takes on a weird quality, but you can still tell. Like if I cut IGP's voice down to half speed, you can still tell it's IGP. This does not sound like the same person. You want to listen to the second clip on three fourths? Okay. I heard the second part about halfway through. I heard when I'm in the dark, I'm afraid. Yeah. Second part of that is when I'm in the dark, I'm afraid. I didn't hear the first part. Or I mean, I can't make out the first part. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. All right. What about this one? Let's play it at normal speed first. Dude, I'm going to fucking cry. This is horrible. This is fucking horrible. Let's listen to it. I like going listening to it full speed and then listening to it at fourth. What? Dude. Oops, wrong track. I just, I just got shit. Mm. I this is, I gotta shut. I'm scared. I gotta shut my door. <laughs> Fuck, man. That sounds like some Satan shit, bro. Get out of here with your crap! <laughs> You would have some shit to say, wouldn't you, Dre? All right, let's go. Let's go to. Okay, so I only have three tracks for skipping. Skipping child. No, I have four, and we just did. Okay. Can I change? I thought I had more. I did more than just the child, right? Huh. Four tracks. Okay, I thought I had more. EVP questions. How do I? What is this? Why can I like drag this here? I didn't get any responses on EVP. Is that what it's telling me? God, that is some creepy ass shit. Hey, what's up, Savannah? Welcome to the room. Next track, next track. No more number three. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with number three? Hold on. Let's. Burn down the whole house. Yeah, number three is pretty, pretty, pretty rough. All right. Uh,. Archives we've already looked at. We've got new evidence. So I feel like taking notes is going to allow us to go in and like and like ask more questions or focus on other stuff, right? Probably. Maybe. That's my guess. I don't know. I, I don't know for sure. Get, get back in the computer, you son of a bitch. All right. We've did archives. We did audio. We've did slime. We've gotten more information. Uh, inbox. We still have from Tammy. Right, we already used that information. Uh, I think we might be ready to go back. You have to investigate it several times. What's our pad say? Okay, we just have our remodeling provokes activity. All right, all right, okay. What is this? Oh, that's the camera. All right, are we uh, are we ready here? 
I think we're ready. Right. So we have filled up the audio recorder. Is that the camera? Yeah, we don't have a picture and then a relic. So what does this say? Do you want to investigate audio picks events? Yes. All right, let's go back. Fuck, dude. Fuck, man. Uh, it seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Uh, Siamese, thanks for joining the stream. Glad to have you. Hope you're doing good. Did I get my items? Oh, fuck. I didn't, did I? No, they're in the truck normally, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good, bro. Don't scare me like that. Should I have picked them up before I left, though? <laughs> Probably. Probably. All right. Let's, uh, let's go with camera first off, right? Let's see. Uh, Carter had a temper, built in 1902. He seemed happy. Remodeling provokes many family memories. All right. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm not ready for this. I'm going to be honest. I'm not ready. This place creeps me the hell out. Night vision on. All right, we're going to go right back up to where all the paranormal shit's been happening. I'm assuming more stuff is going to happen now that we're back. Would be my assumption. Nothing so far. Yeah, I'm curious which is bet which is best too. First, I have the camera out just because I didn't get any photographic evidence. Who who has a picture of eyelashes? But what the fuck is that, bro? You know what? Temperature reading time, baby. Oh, more cold spots. Kind of. Nope, it started getting hot again. Here we go. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Hmm. These temp readings aren't. <laughs> Looks like just a cold spot. Then immediately another cold spot, and he's like, mm, "This is uh, this is suspect right here." Let me tell you. I was getting another cold spot here. Fuck. I haven't heard any voices yet. Oh, oh! It's not getting that cold though, bro. Is it something is going on here? These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. How does this work though? So far, nothing has been like super different. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was some droppage somewhere over here. Am I missing two like items, like investigation items? What is that? A picture of a coconut? Picture of eyelashes. Get the hell out. Yeah, dude. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. The ghosts are not active right now. Do I need to go to the garage maybe? Because we didn't have any... We didn't really have much activity at the garage last time. I heard that. I fucking heard that, you ghost bitch. Oh shit, dude. I opened that bathroom door, right? I opened that bathroom door, right? I think I did. I think I did. Also, if we got most of the activity up here last time, maybe it's downstairs this time. Hmm. Nah, man. Ghosts don't need privacy. I'll walk into the bathroom. Alright, let's go back to the... What was that? They left tomatoes out? What the fuck's wrong with these people, man? Can't walk that way. 
Apparently, I'm too fat to fit between there. You'd have to keep only one door open at a time? Yeah. I probably should do that, but you know. Not getting any more temperature readings. Uh, let's go check the garage. Because we didn't, we didn't really find or get anything. You know what? I didn't look over here either last time. Hey, what's up, Tara? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I hope you're doing good. There's some wine out. Man, these people, they're like, hey, man, we're going to leave you to, like, investigate our house for a couple nights. Don't worry. I mean, it's not super dirty or anything, but it's just like we were playing uh, drinking wine. We're just going to leave it out. You know, fuck it. Let the hobos have some wine, right? Somebody come by. Who cares? Also, why is there an extra stove next to the car? Uh, uh, why can't I close the door now? There we go. Warmer out here, but that makes sense because the garage probably doesn't have central air and heat, right? Patrick, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Mm. Sorry about what, Panda? You didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Uh, there's nothing in the garage, dude. I feel like the garage is clean. Let's, uh, EMF. Wait. We're getting some. We're getting, is that a four or a five? That's a five, right? And it stopped before I got the progress. What the fuck? Why does the EMF keep doing that? I don't want to open the garage door because I'm worried being exposed like that that much to the outside. Maybe the ghost won't show themselves. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, Caramel Acorn, welcome. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing good. Justin, what's up? Welcome to the stream, Justin. Well, what happened? The ghosts don't give a shit now. They don't care. They really don't. Shadow. What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. Well, okay. All right. I was, I was not, I gotta be honest. I wasn't expecting that. The photographs taken during this investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity. So it's a shadow person, right? Ooh. Oh my God. I'm instantly sweating. All right. I might have panicked there for a little bit, but then I got my shit together and I got the camera off. Oh God, dude. Or yeah, I got the camera out. I mean, and oh shit. That guy. Yeah, that guy is unnervingly calm. That actually bothers me. <laughs> Why is he so calm? All right, well, am I supposed to get multiple pictures of the ghost? I mean, I feel like one picture of the ghost is enough pictures of the ghost, right? Okay. We'll keep going with the camera for a little bit. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Shit. Okay, um, all right, I think we need other evidence. Temperature's dropping, some. 
All right, hold on. Uh, okay, so it's definitely shadow people. Is that enough to like go back and get the stuff so that we can tell the family what it is and exercise it? Man. Oh. I can't, my, my body hurts. Can't do it, man. All right, he was right here. Let's try to do EVP. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Dude, go, 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 fuck. Go. Okay, hold on. I need my I mean, I know that it doesn't really matter, but I need my I am Okay, I need my back to a wall. Um Is there anything you'd like to tell shit. me? Shit. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Okay. Nothing. Okay. Why am I here? You know why I'm here? Brace yourselves. It's going to respond. Do you know why I'm here? It's going to respond. Nope. How many? How many people are here other than me? Come on. How many people are here other than me? This guy is so even keeled. He's so calm. Just me. One ghost. Wow. One that ghost. like a response. One ghost. That is very interesting. One. Can name? You tell me your name. Shit, dude. Can you tell me your name? Uh. Why is it not playing back yet? Oh, it did play back. Why are you here? Why are you here? Come on, give me some more responses. We got to fill that EVP meter. Why are you here? Shit, dude. All right. Is it okay with the people that are living here? Do you like the current family living here? Maybe I should ask the ghost about his extended warranty. Do you like the current family living here? Bro, he's gone silent. I'll go to different Is parts of the house home? and do EVP. Is this your home? I heard that. Did you guys hear that banging? Okay. Um, I don't understand what that side thing... Like, I kind of understand it, but, like, sometimes when you get evidence... That side thing pops up and like it has a meter that goes up, but the second meter below the first one that goes up never moves up. I don't understand. Dude, if the shadow person is on the stairs, I'm going to shit myself. Bro, bro, don't be behind me, bro. Fucking hell, dude. So maybe you can't this. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck, where was that? What, what did they knock down? Um, I was gonna say, maybe this is realistic in that you don't die. It's just like, like if you were going to ghost hunt in real life, right? Like this is how it would be, right? And it would be very, you would have to collect a bunch of evidence to try to figure out what's going on. Right. And, ooh, did I ever come in here? I don't think I ever came in here. This might be, or I did, I did. I just didn't, I just didn't thoroughly look through this place. So maybe there's like the, it keeps saying there's a relic too on the side of my screen that I haven't, uh, I guess either A, I haven't found or, um, but yeah, maybe that's why people call this the most realistic. I'm into this though. This is dope. It might have been silverware in the kitchen. You're right. It might have been. Hmm. So 
so far this time around, we've gotten some temperature. We've gotten audio and we've gotten photos. We've gotten three. So I don't think we're really going to get EMF. Although I pull it out and it's at five. What the fuck, dude? I feel like we've confirmed it's shadow people though. Yeah, that was definitely in the kitchen. You guys were right. Um, can we see what it threw around? Are you are you able to take pictures? Otherwise, we got to turn the light back off because it because the game tells you you need to be in the dark. All right. Dude, those doors are so fucking loud. Oh, man. Oh. I got a level three. Where's the level three coming from? Level four? What the fuck? What the hell, dude? All right, let's try to do, let's try to do EVP upstairs. Cause upstairs was the most haunted place last time. Right? I feel like. Is there anyone here who would like All to right, speak? Let's see what happens. Me? What did I not hear? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? No response. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? What the hell was that sound like? Breath? I, I don't know. I didn't hear it. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Dude, I held, I was holding my breath. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here? I was holding my fucking breath while we were waiting for that thing to respond. Oh my God. Do you know why I'm here? There was a breath down my neck. Are you guys, you guys are fucking with me, right? How many people you guys are, are fucking here with me? Other than me. How many people are here other than me? Come on. How many people are here other than me? This dude, this dude, this guy, our, our investigate, Conrad, right? Conrad, this motherfucker, he is on, did he take like, did he take something before going on these ghost hunts? There is no, I, no. I refuse to believe that anybody could be this calm while is doing this, this shit. Home? I refuse to believe it. Is this your home? It's no longer responding to me. <laughs> Code name Leah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Jojo Rod, yep. <laughs> no, wait, it responded to me you like, like two the times. Family living here, but it's not responding now. Do you like the current family living here? Dude, this game does a really good job of building tension. I'm gonna tell you that. Why are you here? Hmm. Why are you here? I'm gonna ask it the name thing, and then we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do. Can you tell me your name? Then we'll try EVP in the kids' room, real quick. We won't do every question. Can you tell me your name? Dude sounds more like a Terminator. I wonder who. I wonder if the dev actually hired a voice actor or if this is the dev doing it, <laughs> which is totally fine. But I wonder if the dev doing it, like if he wasn't like potentially nervous, you know, is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? My theory is Conrad is a ghost himself. That's my theory. Conrad, Conrad works retail and he's dead inside. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Okay. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, I imagine it's the dev too. This is made by a solo dev. So. 
Okay, we're not getting any more EVP. I, I, I feel like... Why is my battery... Oh, I took a lot of pictures, probably. That's why. I feel like maybe I should pop out because we got the pictures and we got some other evidence. I feel like we know it's a shadow person and, and the EVP told us that it was only one, right? The EVP that we got this time. So now we just need... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, because we're not getting a lot of evidence. And I want to make some progress here. So we're going to go back. I think we got we got EVP this time. We got some additional information. Let's see what... No, one, I don't want to drop that. Why? Give me that back. Let's see what happens. All right, no abnormal EMF, yeah. We got some more temperature readings. Some more, yeah, overwhelming, more overwhelming audio. And 80, we got, yeah, buddy. That was even better than the last time. Okay. All right, returning to office. Let's go see what this does. All right, I gotta, oh, even though I don't want to because I'm opening it into darkness, it's getting too hot in here. I gotta open my door, so I'm, it's gonna scare the shit out of me, though. What is this? <sighs> Excuse me. I've been up really early. Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI at CSPPI. <laughs> That's too long of an acronym. We have a history of success and professionalism that is unparalleled in our field. After years of watching ghost hunting shows on various networks and participating in numerous amateur ghost hunts, we've developed a foolproof process to ensure our clients' deeds are met. Preliminary research in order for paranormal investigators to determine if the location is truly haunted, they often start by spending a significant amount of time researching the case. Learning about what might have happened at the location is key to making cooperations on any potential evidence found later on. An on-site investigation, uh, gain an understanding. <laughs> okay, so there is more than one person. Never mind. Kip is the creator, developer, designer, programmer, digital artist, 3D modeler, animator, and voice actor. So yeah, the de the main dev is the person who does the voice acting. Okay, we just answered that question. And then it looks like they had help with a couple of other things. Chris Merriman is a voice actor too. Hmm. Okay. That's uh, interesting. All right. Let's go to our PC. Let's see. Do we have anything new? Right? Wiki wise? I don't think there's going to be. It's definitely. What does the wiki say for shadow people? Uh, shadow people seem to interact with EMF, temperature, disembodied voices. But wait, EVPs have never been captured, but we got a shadow person. Most photogenic. What? So I'm trying to read. We need juniper smudge sticks for shadow people. Hmm. Huh. Um, I'm. I, I. Let's listen to our audio recordings. Okay. Uh, location here. GI ghost. GI ghost. Big child for GI Ghost Track 5. All right. I'm going to crank the volume. You guys ready to shit your pants? <laughs> Dude, why was that so... Okay, that was the sir. Why was that so... That was startling. All right. Jesus Christ. Three fours? <laughs> we know what he said, though. It, that, it, that's him saying, sir. And then how many people are here other than me? They should just say only me, right? That's what they said when we were there. Just me. Oh, just me. Just me. 
just me. Oh, I just two voice actors. Conrad is the dev, the main dev, and then the other person probably does the voices for the ghosts, right? Ulysses said, oh my god, I peed. Yeah, I know. It's fucking it's this terrible. Just me. Oh god, three. Just me. Mm. Yeah, I think someone said it earlier. It sounds like when you change the speed, it's also adjusting pitch and everything else with it. Uh, okay, so those are our two new audio ones. So it's just one ghost. Shadow person, right? Is what I'm taking away from this. We didn't get... We're missing two pieces of... Of... Of evidentia. We're missing two. You can see the that blank spot and that blank spot. How do we get said spots? Do I have to have different pieces of evidence? So remodeling provokes. We're going to not do that. We're not going to do that. I don't think... The husband having a temper, I don't think that matters. Uh... I think them dying, such a sad fate, probably matters, right? Uh, hold on. Where did I get the rest of my info? In here, right? Oh, wait. There's another guy. Uh, Polk Street, a new house. Footsteps coming. I, I might need... I just thought about this. We might need more experience to unlock some of the additional equipment to be able to go back and fully complete the investigation, right? Um, footsteps coming from upstairs. Uh, man of average build, violent choking sounds. Shadows, I would put that, right? Disembodied voice. Yep. Uh, items being thrown, we've had that. And then, what else would I do? I don't know that I would put the child, even though we've heard the child. Footsteps, man of average build, maybe. Because the shadow, the shadow ghosts look like that, right? Um, hold on, let's go into slime for a second. A laser pin mounted on a miniature tripod, which enables steady placement on many surfaces. The laser grid displays an array of green dots over a limited coverage distance. So it's like the dots projector, essentially, right? From Phasmo. Uh, the laser produces quite a bit of energy, and some investigators have mentioned that ghosts at times manipulate the device to facilitate manifestation. While technically not a ghost hunting device, investigators have been known to use the pen to supplement their investigation in very intuitive ways. Please refrain from pointing out the eyes as this could cause permanent visual damage. <laughs> oh, man. What? Mm. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to buy any of that. Fuck. And there's only that. Release an exorcism. Demons. Intelligent. Shadow ghost. Juniper. Residual. I mean, I feel like it's a shadow confirmed by the pictures, right? Right? Should we buy that? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy it. Fuck. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, man. Wasn't there a place to view the pictures that we've taken? Or am I am I am I just fucking crazy? Was there not? Like we got a picture of the ghost. Why is it not showing up anywhere? Uh Sabuna Wrath, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Hopefully I said the first part of your name, right? Uh I don't know what to do. We've done everything there. We've done archives. Hmm. Where's the thing I just bought? The smudge thing. Where's the smudge thingy? All right, we're going to go back. I wonder if you have to go back with the, yeah, like different combinations of notes to unlock different stuff. We're going to go back to the house one more time and then we can try the new one. Hmm. 
Can I take this? No. Dull mirror. Okay. Let's just go. Wait. Multiple go. I these are different ghosts. Is that what that means? There are three ghosts here. Investigation progress for all of them. So the guy that I took a picture of is the shadow ghost, right? I need more audio recordings from him and I need a relic. And then there's some guy with audio recordings and pictures. And then the girl. There's three ghosts here? What the fuck is going on at this place? Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Shy B, welcome. Good to have you. Appreciate it. I think I get it now. Ghost of Vegas. There's three ghosts here. One of them is a shadow people. We know that because we got a picture. What the hell did they do to get three separate ghosts? No fucking clue. This place. Listen. I don't care if they didn't feel in danger. That's what Conrad keeps saying every time we go here. But if you start investigating a place and you have evidence of three ghosts, you burn that place to the ground and you get the fuck away right it doesn't matter it does not matter hey good night caramel acorn thanks for joining and supporting i appreciate it that is some that is some shit bro hold on it seems like the wentz family isn't worried about water. their safety although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Dude, this motherfucking Conrad, this dude is so goddamn calm. It's ridiculous. It's redunculous. All right. We have two missing pieces. We have two. I wish I could see like that that evidence stuff when i was at the place um oh shit we need to find you know what before i start turning lights off everywhere we need to find the two additional evidence pieces so maybe turning on the lights in each place and looking or the two additional relics or whatever the fuck it is let's do Wait, it was pictures of the other two, right? And, and audio. So we need to do audio for, and pictures. So let's do camera. All right, I don't feel like there's anything in the living room. We're going to look in here. What is a relic? Is a relic like the item that they're attached to? <laughs> that looks like one of those pictures, the picture frames that you buy at the store, right? Like one of the stock photos that they put in there. All right. I, I also don't see anything in here and I can't open these. Mm. Why is the toilet like right there? I feel like that's a really weird place to put the toilet in the, in this layout of a bathroom. I don't know. Is that just me? <laughs> Where's the goddamn light? Close this door. Anything in the hamper? We don't need night vision if we're just in here for this. All right. Yeah, there's like nothing I can pick up in here. There's pills. Crazy person lives here. You think I need to take pictures upstairs? Yeah, probably for that little girl ghost up there. Or little kid ghost, I agree. I'm just going to check everywhere. I'm also looking for... Ooh, there's a camera. I'm also looking for those last two pieces of item evidence or whatever. <gasps> Maybe this? Dude, why is that thing in a corner? That's actually, that's actually a little creepy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. 
That's a little fucking creepy. Dark Days, what's up? Welcome. Savannah, did I say hi? You've been here for a bit, I know. I think I did. I hope I did. Savannah, welcome. Good to have you as well. Uh, Typica YouTube, welcome. Welcome. That is a very weird place for the toilet. Do you want to be taking a poo and somebody accidentally walk on in and you're like, like the toilet should be like, I don't know. This whole bathroom layout is fucking weird. I actually don't know where the toilet should be. I just know it should not be right there. Should not be right there. Turn the fucking light off. All right, we're, we're checking all of downstairs before we go upstairs. Just so, oh, that's the bathroom we were in. Just so everybody, everybody knows, all right? Where's the light for the kitchen again? Okay. Any papers? What are you doing in my waters? Papers, anything we can pick up? It's like a Swiffer wet, wet mop, 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 mop. Take pictures. Those are suspicious cabinets, bro. Suspicious as fuck. Okay. Can't take any of this. I really don't know what items I'm missing. I might just be missing. We might just need like additional equipment, audio equipment to collect more audio evidence. We might have been be meant to move on to the next thing for now. No wonder they have ghosts with a cursed bathroom like that. I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's go down to, hold on. We're gonna turn the kitchen light back off. We wanna make sure the ghost feels like they can, they can show themselves, right? All right, we're gonna check down here. Dude, I really thought like these would be something. We did find a piece of evidence right there previously, but I really thought that I would pick up one of those as well. What do you do with the, are you supposed to be able to open the locked doors at some point? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Or uh, wait, soundboard Skilly does it best. I don't know, man. <laughs> soundboard Skilly does it best. All right, we had some uh, we had some EVP in here, in the basement, right? So it's like there's a ghost in the basement. There's a ghost. Um, on the main level and there's a ghost upstairs, right? So we had slightly different exp uh, paranormal experiences each place. Each place. Alright, turn the light on. Is this... Bro, I thought a dead body might be under there for a minute. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think we're meant to move on to the next location. The game did keep talking about renovations taking off the ghosts. Yes. Yes, it did. It's plausible the ghost is bad at the toilet. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it is plausible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's not necessary. It's not necessary, bro. You know what? Let's take out the, uh, let's take out. You want to talk? You want to talk? Oh, you were just in the kitchen. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oh, no. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Shit, dude, I'm gonna... Fuck, bro. Fuck. Okay, okay. All right, let's go upstairs. Uh, let's get the camera out. Just in case. Do I only have 9% battery? Do I need to go get batteries? I might need to go get batteries. 
Let's go in the kids' room. All the stuff comes from over here in the stairs in the kids' area. All right. We need more audio evidence for the ghost up here, right? And picture. Maybe not, though. Getting temperature readings? Getting temperature readings? These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Okay, fine. Um. EMF. All right, EVP. How many here? How many people are here other than me? Let's just light this place up. <laughs> How many people are here other than me? Dude. Name? Tell me your name. Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? After that? <sighs> not not responding. I think I might need additional audio equipment to do this. Why are you here? Yeah, I think we need more experience and more audio equipment. I'm going to leave. We're going to get out. I don't think there's anything else we could do right now at this location. I think we have to progress our ghost hunting career. That's fine. We'll go to the next location. No, no, no. Don't drop that. Pick that up. Maybe Son I of should a bitch. give it a little effort before wrapping up. No, man. What are you talking about? Maybe I should give it a little effort before wrapping up. <laughs> I didn't get anything. I'm not getting any experience. <laughs> All right. There was nothing there, man. Nothing was happening, bro. Bra. All right. We're going to go to that next location. We got to read the email, though, first. Get our evidence going. Our notes, right? All right. Max Laurent, Polk Street, June 26. Conrad, I moved my family into our new house six months ago. Since then, they claim to have experienced strange things that they cannot explain. Uh, seems like they are growing in the belief that our home is haunted. I personally have never experienced anything, but that makes me believe in goat. That makes me believe in ghosts. But my wife and kids have a laundry list of things they feel are paranormal. My wife says she has heard sounds of crying in the living room. All right, let's put that. Um, where did my cursor go? Someone talking to themselves in the laundry area. Let's put that. And footsteps throughout the house. She also claims to have seen a person's shadow creeping along in the hallway, so potentially shadow person. Uh, my youngest child's bedroom is adjacent to the bathroom. Recently, he's woken up several times in the middle of the night saying that a boy is in his room. A boy is in his room. The kid... Oh, wait, what? Scaring him. Okay. <clears throat> he's also mentioned seeing an elderly man lingering in the kitchen. All right. Personally, I don't believe this is caused by being caused by spirits. When something falls off the shelf in my garage or I feel a sudden change in temperature, I chalk things up to more rational explanations. Regardless, I would like to resolve this issue for my family. I know it would mean a lot to them. Let me know when you are available to check out our home. All right, we're going to put this sudden change in temperature. Hold on. Change in temperature. We're not going to do that. We're going to do boy in his room, shadows, Footsteps um, in these two. We're going to do all of that. Okay. All right. We are going to... I've read that email. Wait, do I have anything else on the computer that I can read about this place first? Uh, no, that's just spirit guide. Okay, no, no, no. All right, let's go. New location. Oh, I can go everywhere? I have to be invited first though. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so the so the kid is the top one, I think. And that's upstairs. We have all the audio. We need pictures. No idea how we're gonna get pics. 
right? The shadow person is the middle. We need, um, we have all the picture evidence. We need audio evidence, right? The shadow person was the person in the main entry level of this place. And then the bottom one was the smaller looking man. He only responded to EV. He did EVP a couple of times in the basement, right? Hmm. Okay. No, not investigate that. We're going to go to Polk Street, though. Yes. All right, let's go. New place. The Lorentz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. I gotta close this. He also didn't provide I'm leaning any down in information my chair now. stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their mind at ease. Hey, look, my, my, my smudge stuff is there for shadow people. All right, let's -a go. All right, so one of my evidences or one of my notes, right, was changes in temperature in the garage. I think the dad mentioned, right? Because he talked about working in the garage and there being changes of temperature in there. So let's go in there. Let's invest in a bait, the garage. Uh, Dylan, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I hope you're doing good. I like this game, though. I like the methodical slow pace. And it being single player makes it super creepy. I feel like you just have to keep progressing. All right, that goes to the backyard. All right, are, is there a light switch in here we could turn on and potentially find? Yeah, right here. Potentially find relics or whatever. Or uh, in, investigation pieces. Can't open the fridge. The temperature is very stable so far. No temperature fluctuations. Dev's real goal is to increase literacy. <laughs> hey, you could do that. This game does require quite a bit of reading. I knew this going in, though. It was uh, it was very clearly stated on the game page and by people who I talked to had played it who said that it is very much a research investigation ga based game. I'm not getting anything in here, dude. Let's see if we can get some EMF. The refrigerator, I mean, that makes sense. It's an electrical device, right? Wasn't the breaker box in here? Somewhere? Am I crazy? No. All right. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, ba 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 the, 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 the audio recordings. Take care, Panthera. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Feel better. Valigator, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, viewership's been... I've been playing a horror game tonight, so... Viewership has been through the roof. We were at 180, I think, at one point. It was ridiculous. Ridunkalucka. Things have been chill for a minute, though. I haven't been any jump scares. All right, EVP, maybe? Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Anybody? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? All right, I think it's safe to say that there is nothing in the garage, right? There is nothing in the garage, bro. All right, we're going in.
We're going in. Hello? 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 Let's turn it back. Seeing some slight temperature fluctuations. Here we go. Here we go. We got some temperature fluctuation. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. You say that now, but then we're going to get the second cold spot and you're going to be like, oh, this is a, this is a super paranormal activity here. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Can I open this? There haven't been any jump scares that I haven't gone in the house, but the garage was supposed to be haunted too, right? Right? Where am I? I've gotten turned around and I have no fucking clue where I'm at in this damn house. Is this the living room? Oh, dude. Creepy ass motherfucking piano. <laughs> dude, clean your motherfucking carpets, bro. What the hell is wrong with you people? Hey. Certificate of marriage. License number 13th day of August, 1994. Fellowship of the Congregational Church. Charles Allen, Deborah Taylor, Polk Street. Okay. Pastor Vincent Cost, Reverend Pastor Spruce Street. Okay. I hear footsteps. I hear more footsteps. Well, that light fucking sucks. You worthless piece of shit. Whose phone is this old? The marriage certificate said 1994. That is not a phone from 1994, bro. I hear footsteps. All right, let's record. More like 1894, I know, right? Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel, Mackenzie Mundell and Soul Journey. Welcome, glad to have you guys. Rob Mitchell, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. You have a rotary phone that still works to this day? Brass and wood, baby? Holy shit, is it like... No, I get what you say. When you say it works, I understand it works, but I mean like... Like you have it plugged into a phone line and it's working? Like you use it? Is there anyone here who would Let's like do to EVP. speak with me? Rob Mitchell said, yep, yep. Is there anyone here who would like to speak Holy with shit, me? Holy shit, dude. That's your landline? <laughs> That's you awesome. Can your name? Hello? Hello? Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? I was hearing footsteps like right back there. So that's why I'm doing it right here. Why are you here? No responses. Do you like the current family living here? No responses. Do you like the current family living here? Do you here? like the current family living here? Mm. Bro. We had a level 5 EMF. For a minute. Level 3 with the TV. What is this room? Oh. Is that the way I came in? No, no, no. I came in through the garage. That's the front door. I didn't come in that way. Shit, dude. All right. Fucking bedroom. Dude, I... All right. There's got to be... There's got to be a piece of, uh, like, evidence or thingamabob in here somewhere. Right? 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 People hide shit in their fucking closet all the time, right? Oh, God damn it. I'm too fat to walk past half the stuff. 
Hey, Ryan D. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Ryan D's channel membership just renewed for the third month at the engineer level. Said, are you going to play this game with the guys? Ryan, welcome. Good to have you. Unfortunately, this is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Investigator. Paranormal uh, PI or Investigator PI or something. It is only single player. Uh, it is not multiplayer, unfortunately. So I cannot play with the guys. I even checked. I was telling at the beginning of the stream. I even looked for mods to see if there were any multiplayer mods and there are not. There are no mods currently available for the game. So I can't, unfortunately. But I totally would have if it was multiplayer. Uh, nothing scary is happening. And I got to be honest, that's like really... A Man, what am I doing wrong? I feel like whenever I start to get like, yeah, like that EMF or whatever, like I stop moving it. Get out. Get out. I heard that motherfucker. I heard that loud and fucking clear. That bitch said get out, dude. This is not okay. That was like three voices, dude. So they didn't like me looking in the closet, apparently. Noted. Let's try to do EVP right here in the hallway. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Dude, it takes Is there so anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay. Uh, how many? How many people are here? Because we heard multiple. Other than me. We heard multiple. How many people are here other than me? Come on, play back, play back. What's up, Slow Cooked? Welcome to the stream. This is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Investigator PI. Is that the full name? <laughs> I don't know. It's a really long name. It's a, a single player ghost hunting, uh, paranormal hunting game. Very investigation focused, heavy. All right. We had audio, or we heard audio. I had a level five. Hmm. This is, this is. Very inactive. What's up, Black Wolf? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Wait, what am I getting a EMF hit from right here? <laughs> I'm just walking across the fucking bed don't mind me just stepping on your goddamn bed the books maybe is there a... I heard that I heard that I don't have any evidence right now bro it does feel like the hallway All right, let's get in here. Oh, this place. All right, it's just the Xbox and the TV and stuff giving it off. Oh, how is that not a piece of... Fuck. Turn on the light, turn on the light. You think someone was at the door? What door? This door or the door to outside? Hey, what's up, Nightage Colas? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Hope you're doing good. Oh, you think when I act... Okay, let's test that theory out. Yeah, you guys are right. When you activate it, it just cycles. Okay. Okay. 
Fuck me, guys. I'm not getting any evidence. Is that the basement? Okay. This is the kid. This is where we entered. Bro, bro, this is not okay, bro. It's not okay. Oh yeah, I should have recorded, you're right. Fuck. But I was trying to get EMF. Okay, record, record. Come on. Anything? Nothing so far. Is there anyone, anyone here? here who would like to speak with me? Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? How many people are here? Bro, I'm getting nothing. Other than me. What the hell, dude? I'm getting absolutely nothing. How many people are here other than me? Okay. Dude. Dude. What's a man got to do to get haunted? Like, for real. I feel like there's going to be EMF evidence because I've gotten like up to level four. Look, the, the question is where? This place is not, not that big. Damn it. Damn it. I didn't have this out in time. Do I not have the right notes with me, maybe? Shadow in the hallway. Okay. I'm just running around. <laughs> Come on, do something, ghosty bitches. What is my other note? Boy in bedroom, shadow in hallway, footsteps throughout, talking in laundry, crying in living room. Okay, crying in living room? All right. I don't hear any crying in the living room. Do you guys? I I I heard footsteps. Oh, I was recording that. I got it. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. <laughs> Freaking idiot. That was a very unusual noise. That was a very unusual noise. I'll I got another one. I got the footsteps. That was somebody else. So two different ghosts confirmed. Okay. EVP has been a no-go though. Which bedroom do you think the little boy was? Hmm. Dude, this is almost just as bad. Like, if you're going ghost hunting and you're expecting to find paranormal activity and you get a couple of small things here and there, right? But, like, it's basically just quiet and you're not getting anything else. It's horrible. It's terrifying. It's like they're fucking with you. 
I'm trying to run around and just get a bunch of audio evidence because we've gotten two pieces for two different ghosts. So I'm just recording over and over. Hey, what's up, Arrow? Welcome to the stream. That's extraordinary audio evidence. That's a third. That's a third fucking ghost. You have to be shitting me. Uh, Arrow, this is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Investigator PI. Yes, it's a mouthful. I've only found one item, too. One, one, uh, like, dropped piece of evidence. Is that what you want to call it? We have not been down here. All right, hold your horses. Oh, boy. Oh, this space is way too open. Go fuck yourself, game. Seriously. Seriously! What is this? Oh! <gasps> this... Oh, it's a picture. It's all faded out, though. Alright. Uh, temperature, maybe? It's dropping. I mean, it's a basement, though. It's gonna be colder, right? cassette tape all right let's let's walk around the basement with the thermometer see if we get anything i heard that what was that is that just the air turning on wait what was in laundry talking in laundry okay talking in laundry so we should have we should have our we should have our audio recorder out right The laundry area is down here. Another piece of evidence. What is this? Old Town Middle School report card. A, B, A, C. I see one F. Personal growth and development. <laughs> okay. Dude, okay. We've gotten two audio recordings from two ghosts, right? Or no, three. Three separate audios from three separate ghosts. But that's it. Nothing else. All right, let's EMF. This is insane. Dirtiest Tiger, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Here we go. Here we go, baby. These EMF readings appear to be normal. Appear to be normal from what? We aren't pointing it at anything electric. Conrad, you have done lost your goddamn mind. EMF readings appear to be normal. Fucking psychopath, dude. Well, I mean, this game, it seems like it might. Okay. We're looking at the floor. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. I've obtained some audio evidence. I'm noticing some abnormal readings. I heard noises. That's the stairs. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Got some more audio evidence. Okay. That's definitely audio That's evidence. Extraordinary audio evidence. All right, now we have extraordinary, but it's not adding to the ghosts. Dude, man. Every time we get <laughs> the audio in this game is great. Every time we get audio evidence, I'm, I'm getting fucking chills. I don't, I don't, this is, this is not okay, bro. All right. We haven't heard talking in laundry, crying in living room. We haven't heard footsteps throughout. We've heard footsteps fucking everywhere. We haven't seen a shadow in the hallway or a boy in the bedroom. We haven't had changes in temperature. All right. Well, the changes in temperature were in the garage, according. 
I, I fucking sh shit. I should have gotten that. Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like anyone to speak here? With me? Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Just Ruby, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Just Ruby, we are playing Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal Investigator PI. How many people are here? Other than me, I always put the um, game name and its description and a link to where you can download it or purchase it in the description of all the streams and videos. Mm. All right, camera time, maybe. Shadow person in the hallway upstairs, right? So that we should go focus on the hallway with the camera. Although I already did that some. I already did that. Oh, you're fine, Ruby. I'm just, I'm just mentioning it so everybody knows because we've had uh, a few people come in and ask, so. Plus two, I like supporting indie devs and I want everybody to know. Was that temperature reading off? Where the fuck is the temperature thing again? Uh, if people are interested, I always want them to be able to check out the game for themselves, too. Help out the indie devs. Where's my camera? You fucking... We gonna play this game? We gonna play this fucking game? Yeah, well, okay, it sounds like we're gonna play the... You son of a bitch. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Stop turning on the motherfucking lights! Dude. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Shit, bro. Shit. That was in here. This was the door Ooh, that... That is eerie audio evidence. <sighs> this is not good. This is not good. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Do you live here is the next question I'm going to ask. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I'm... Wow. <laughs> that sounded like a response. <laughs> that is very interesting. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here? They responded. Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? The fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How many people are here other than me? Why have they stopped Do you responding? Like the current family living here? Why have they stopped responding? Do you like the current family living here? Can Damn you tell it. me your name? What are they doing? Thanks for subscribing, Abu Tiz. Tiz, I'm sorry, I probably butchered your name. Can I do you it for everybody. Name? Where did they go? Why are you here? Where did they fucking go? Why are you here? Want Is to there speak? Anything you'd like to tell me? Just did that one response and then dipped out. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? S 
Son of a bitch. All right, this is the hallway, right? So there's supposed to be, what is it? Shadow and hallway. So a shadow. Right? I'm hearing audio. We might, we might have gotten everything we can get this go around. Dude, this game, man, fuck the tension, dude. The tension. It's too much. I'm sweating fucking bullets over here. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I didn't even fucking hear a noise. What? Okay, shadow person, shadow person, shadow person. I do know there are, there are like demons, right? And other ghosts. We're just not very far along. And Stop following me. Stop it. They're like always behind me, man. I get a level four. Is it the toaster? <laughs> Am I getting a level four from the motherfucking toaster? I'm getting a level two. A level four right there. Dude, why did it sound like that? Bro, this is not okay. Might be time to dip out of here. Uh... I just hear... That was doors closing. Oh, was that door that closed? All right, you know what? Fuck it, man. Fuck it. <laughs> I I don't. Those ghosts are way too. They just fucking. I don't know what they're doing. Let's go look at the evidence that we got and investigate. All right, EMF readings. We got four experience for. Everything was audio. Yeah, that was like all audio. Boom. I forgot I have those sound effects on my soundboard. Like horror hits and screeches and everything like that. All right, let's see what this says. Let's listen to the audio that we got. All right. How many tracks did we get? So three different ghosts. Okay. So we have perpetual presence, grieving shadow, and a little boy blue. Well, that the name, does the name tell us we have like a residual ghost? We have a grieving shadow. So we have a shadow ghost and intelligent. And then we have, we have maybe like a demon or something. Hold on. Let's listen. Crank the volume. What? What the fuck did that say? All right, hold on. We got to slow that down. Let's go to three fourths. Did it say who's my bitch? Did it say who's my bitch? Hold on. Hold, hold, hold up. Hold 
I swear to God, it's saying who's my bitch. Is it? Is it not saying that? <laughs> You can't, you can't convince, you can't convince me otherwise. That's what that ghost is saying. The perpetual presence is saying, who's my bitch? That is absolutely what it's saying. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate you. I hate you. That's very clear. I hate you. Let's. I hate you. Three fourths perfect. I hate you. I hate you. I'm about to be a ghost bitch. Arrow says probably. Yeah, that grieving shadow track is very, very clear. You can even tell it at one-fourth speed. Holy shit. Hey, I have a theory, right? Look, this says Perpetual Presence Track 01, right? And then we go here, Grieving Shadow Track 04. So, like, we got the fourth audio clip for this Shadow Ghost. But we know there's at least three more, right? One, two, and three. Because we saw the same thing at the other house. All right, we have Little Boy in Blue. You never had me before. Wait, what? Something? You, you were happier before? You were happier before. You were happier before. You were happier before. You were happier before. That's absolutely what it says. You were happier before. Yeah. Yep. You were happier before. Okay. You were happier before. All right. All right, that's all the audio evidence we got, right? Archives. Oh, shit. All right, we picked up a civil agreement for divorce. Divorce agreement made on the 17th day, November 1992. Wait, didn't they get married? August 15th, 1994. Charles Allen and Deborah Taylor. Who, are, who is this? Charles Allen and... Lynn Allen. So wait, he got married to Deborah Taylor in on August fifteenth of nineteen ninety four, but he got divorced in November of ninety two. So two years prior, he got divorced. Changes create gateways. What? Hmm. Deb joined family in 94. So he got a new wife in 94. Obituaries. David Allen. Who's David Allen? Charles Allen is the husband's name. Who's David Allen? David Allen, 31. 2015. That had to be the son, right? Because if, if, if Charles Allen got married in 94 and he was 32, and then 21 years later... David Allen dies. That'd be a kid, right? David Allen, age 31, of Washington Street, died Tuesday, August 11, 2015, unexpectedly while spending time with friends. He was born in New Edelon in January of 1984, the son of Charles Allen. There we go. A true artist since early childhood, David enjoyed sculpting and painting in his free time. He was also an avid reader and worked as a clerk at Noble Books, a local shop that he frequented as a young boy. Surviving David is his father, Charles Allen. Funeral services will be held at 10 a.m. on August 15th, 2015. All right. Burial will be at Spruce Street Cemetery. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The recordings that we got, right? One of them was grieving Shadow. So he'd be grieving his son because the son died before the dad. Right? Right. David's early end linked. David is where card was found. What does that mean? That's just a report card. All right. Police report. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Prepared by Miggle. Is that a last name or a first name? 
On April 23rd at 5.50 p.m., dispatch received a call from a resident on Polk Street stating that they heard a loud, angry screaming from the house next door and loud bangs shortly thereafter. Uh Uh-oh, did the man kill his wife? She identified herself as Deborah Allen and remained calm and respectful while we discussed. Oh, wait, the caller stated they wanted to remain anonymous. I arrived at the residence around 6.02 and a woman answered the door. She identified herself as Deborah Allen. All right, so Charles Allen's wife. Second wife, right? Um, she remained calm and respectful while we discussed. I asked if anyone else was home, and she replied that her stepson was in his room. So that's that's uh, David. Did he wait? Did he kill himself? Um, I asked if I could talk with him, and she answered yes. The boy identified himself as David Allen and said he was ten years old. Okay, never mind. He appeared to have been crying and f- had fresh scratches on both sides of his neck. But when I inquired about my observation, he said his allergies were bothering him and he had no idea how he got the scratches. I did not press him further. I asked Deborah about my observations of David and she replied, you know how boys are. They're always roughhousing about something. She denied having to do anything with his tears or scratches. Oh no. Was the stepmom abusing the, the son? That is fucked up, dude. Hey, economist. Welcome to the stream, dude. Long time no see. Good to have you. And hey, Thanks for becoming a channel member again at the squadron level. I appreciate it. Welcome back to channel membership, dude. Good to have you. Thanks for the support. You rock. All right. Uh, Actions taken informed the residents at Polk Street about the complaint and interviewed all known inhabitants. Not enough evidence to confirm an incident or crime. Damn, I think she was abusing the kid, dude. What is this? Mental health evaluation center? Hold on. Whose is this? Uh, uh, do I see a name? Do we see a name? Deborah Allen. Client name, Deborah Allen. January 15th, 19... Is that 1960? That can't be right. Am I reading that wrong? Because if she was... In 1994, she got married at age 28. So she can't be... If she's 28 and 94, she can't be... She can't have been born in 1960. I can't read January 15th, date of birth, 19th. What is that? That doesn't even make sense. If it's 1980, she would have only been 2014 in 94. That doesn't make any sense. She a demon? She might be. Concerned enough for an eval. Okay, what were her fear of losing control, unsustainable living arrangement, Current substance abuse. Dangerous to self and others. Risk assessment weekly for two weeks. Monitor for actionable plans. She's having... Consumer denies current thoughts of other directed harm at this time. Homicidal. Put X. If parent, please indicate. Active recurrent thoughts. Making threats. Is, is X'd. Past suicide. What? Past aggression. Thoughts. What the fuck? Strong emotions create gateways. Okay. What is this photograph? Hold on. If I take off the police report... Concerned enough for an eval. What is the photograph up here? Wagner looks... Wagner's look happy. Okay, I don't think that... I think it's the family, ghosts. I gotta be honest. So we'll do all that. What the hell, dude? Okay, we still only have those two. How are we doing money-wise? We have six... (laughs) We have 69 credits. That's what she said. All right. Um, six, uh, We could buy a light pen. God, everything is so expensive. I just have to keep going, but I feel like evidence is so hard to get. We are not ready to... I haven't even finished. We are not ready to exercise a ghost. All right, hold on. Uh, I don't need anything from the wiki right now. So archive.
Grieving Shadow, definitely Charles Allen, the dad, right? He's grieving for his dead son. Little Boy Blue, potentially Charles Allen came back as a ghost boy because his stepmom abused him. Perpetual Presence, I don't know. Is that Deborah, you think? It is very hard to earn credits, it seems like. This game is... Okay, I like this game a lot. And I like how it has a different direction than most of the paranormal uh, ghost hunting investigation games. I like that. I like that. I will say, though, it is very slow-paced. That is building a lot of tension for me, but at the same time, I'd like maybe just a little bit more... Like a little, like a, a sprinkle in a little bit more, right? Um, I could go back to Polk Street. I feel like I got to go back with this new evidence. Three ghosts. Yeah, the bottom one would be Charles Allen, the dad. Middle would be Deborah, because it looks like a woman's outline. And the top one would be, it would be David, right? The boy who died. Audio picks and events. So I need a le pictures. Le pictures. All right, let's go back. What if the kid had enough? <laughs> P.S. The Lorenz uh, have a Sue bit of dip. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Home being haunted. I hope you're doing it's good. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Yeah, you keep talking about putting people's minds at ease, man. I ain't even put my own mind at ease, brother. All right. We have our extra batteries, which so far we haven't needed. I got to start putting this this equipment in the in the right spot. So it's all audio. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to fix this. We got to fix this. Uh, pull out, pull out something. How do I drop it? All right. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to drop this as well. All right. And then hold on. I'm going to drop all of it. You guys will see why here in a second. I'm trying to be strategic here. So it's going to be pictures and audio, right? So I want them to be. That puts it on the up. And then this will put that on the left. And then the down will be the audio. There we go. All right. So now up and down. Up is camera. Down is audio. I feel like I can remember that. Okay. All right. Let's go see if we can get the pictures. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's dark as fuck in here. I forgot my flashlight for a second. <laughs> I was like, why is it so dark? I don't remember it being this dark. All right, we need pictures. <laughs> Ulysses said, you know, I think someone could kick that guy in the junk and he'd be like, calm, ouch, and that is it. Dude, Conrad has fucking... I, I, Conrad doesn't have balls. There's no way he does. That's a weakness. Our boy Conrad has no weaknesses. Nothing. Nothing bothers him. All right, there was a shadow in the hallway, right? David is where card was found. Where did we find that card again? Deb joined family in 94. David's early end linked. Concerned enough for eval. Didn't we find a piece of evidence like right here in the hallway? Dude. He's dead from the belt down. <laughs> How do I get the ghosties to like come out? Like, am I, am I doing something wrong? I think I might be doing something wrong. I'm hearing footsteps. Am 
I'm hearing footsteps. Conrad would just slap the ghost. No hesitation. He would. Conrad's like the Chuck Norris of ghost hunters, bro. He legit is. After tonight's stream, I'm going to have to read up on this game. Like read what people are saying more. Go into maybe a little bit of not a lot, not really spoiler territory, but like how to properly investigate. Because I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or not. Your offer from before still stands. What's your offer from before? Hey, good night, GDSK09. Maybe we need more tech or incense. Well, incense wasn't an item we could buy. We could buy those smudge stick things, but those are for once you have enough evidence to confirm what type of ghost it for sure is. Then I think you need a relic and you need the smudge stuff and then you can basically like resolve them or remove them from the house, right? You're not banishing them so much as like cleansing them and putting them at peace as the way the, um, the wiki on the computer reads, right? All right, let's go back to the basement. There was definitely a ghost down here last time. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I gotta be honest, I didn't fucking hear anything. Like I heard the AC. Oh, 10 bucks for the person who changes my mind from Conrad being a robot. He might be a robot. Hey, what's up, Setch? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Well, it is so it is supposed to be a slow burn That's arrow. You are absolutely arrow. right. Um, reading about it and what some friends and wow, stuff were telling me. It is it is 100% a slow burn. And it is supposed to be very methodical, very investigation based, very realistic in the investigation. Right? It's not supposed to be like a phasmo in your face kind of game. But still, I feel like the evidence gathering i mean i'm three and a half hours in to stream second location i did the first location three times because you're supposed to leave come back leave and come back that's like what you're supposed to do we're on the second run at this place and i'm not sure that i i don't know it's just it's just a little too too much of a slow burn again i like Is it i don't dislike the game like to speak with me that's just like one of my one of my minor complaints Give me a, give me a, give me a little bit more. You know, like, Is please, sir, here? may You'd I have like some more? Like a little bit more, man. It's good, though. There's good ideas here. There's good execution. It definitely builds tension. We had some scary moments in the first house, especially when the shadow ghost showed up. And we've barely scratched the surface. There were like, there were like m just as many maps, if not more than Phasmo. So... Can you tell me your name? Are we getting anything? Can you tell me your name? I, we might need like a better EVP device to get EVP. That might be what we're missing for all this audio evidence at both locations. You think it's my ADHD talking? It might be. I mean, d look, don't get me wrong. I like the game, like I said. I just... It also, I might I might be stupid. I, I This might be me fucking up. Like, I might not be... Inv I might not be investigating, right? We gotta do demonologist at some point, too. Not getting anything down here. It's audio and pictures. Audio and pictures is the evidence that we need for all three ghosts. Avid Orchid said, so realistic it takes six years of work to find another ghost. <laughs> the card from the kid was found at the record player in the basement. Okay. So the record player was back over here, maybe? <gasps> Dude. Bro, I... 
Okay, so David was near the record player. So maybe we should stand here, right? Because it tells us David is where the card was found. Okay, and you're saying the card <laughs> was found here. All right. So we're going to do EVP here or try. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I kind of potentially saw something there. You might, you might supposed to anyone here who would like do to a bunch of locations. Me? You can only go to a location when you get an email though, right? And we've only gotten two emails so far. This one and the other one. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Nothing. Hmm. Do you know why I'm here? I'm here for the ghosties. I'm here for Spooktober. You know I keep seeing shadows move too. I don't know if it's actually something people are or if we're just so we've built up me. tension so much. I can't tell. How many people are here other than me? This game's fuckery is strong yet. <laughs> I'm going to go through all the EVPs here. Wait. Did I? No, that's the close. I just wasn't seeing it right. Dude, I don't know, bro. We weren't getting anything over there. <clears throat> All right, we're getting a level four of Electro and a level three, but this is a, this is, this is radio equipment. Essentially, we're going to get electromagnetic interference here. It, it makes 100% sense. Carlos Martinez, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Hey, man, thanks for coming over from IGP stuff. I appreciate it. Good to have you out alive, dude. We do this every weekend, so join us. It's a fun time. <gasps> About these uh, things. Nothing paranormal about these. You know, fuck yourself. Mm. Let's go back upstairs. I'm at a loss, man. Like the shadow person in the hallway we haven't been able to see the ghosts like do not show themselves which i mean in real life not that i actually believe in ghosts but in real life they're very skittish right remington costa welcome to the stream good to see you again I heard that. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Oh, there's more audio ev evidence for that chick. Do you have to get like all the audio evidence before you can take a picture? Because that's what happened with that shadow person at the first location. That shadow ghost, right? That was crying from the living room. Right? We don't have that as a note right now, but that was crying from the living room. That was a note that we brought the first time. Chris Gallio, Ooh, what's up? Welcome. That's extraordinary audio evidence. What? What else are we getting? I'm just recording stuff as I'm walking around. So we have a lot. I've obtained significant. It goes up one more level, right? It says overwhelming audio evidence, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm starting to be convinced that we need the next level of... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. I might have been a little bit underprepared for that. I might have been. All right. That was the shadow person in the hallway for sure. 
Oh, shit. <sighs> Jesus, man. Good God. I think I might have pulled a muscle in my leg. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well... God, you gotta spend a lot of time in a location to get them here. One ghost per 1.5 hours. <laughs> it is very, very methodical. Very like you need to spend the, the night at the location, right? Even though time doesn't pass. <sighs> What's up, Jesus? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Jesus, I'm about to come meet you. I'm about to come come to you. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack live on stream. All right, well, would this shadow person like to pop in again so I can get my photographic evidence going? For fuck's sake, dude. <sighs> yeah, I think they need to increase events a little bit more, but maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, again, maybe I'm doing something wrong investigation-wise. Maybe I just need to get further into it. Maybe I don't have, I'm hearing something. Maybe I don't have all the right audio equipment yet to get all the audio events. Maybe what happens is more events happen as you progress more evidence, right? And I haven't been progressing evidence much because I, I, I just started the game. I'm also curious to know, like this seems somewhat linear, right? Like, I wonder what happens. Let's say you get to a point where you get all the evidence for all the all the ghosts in a certain location, right? And you, you like... I'll keep that as audio evidence. You take care of the family's concerns. You do the smudging. You cleanse the ghost or you put them at peace or whatever, right? Is that location then done? Or does it, or does it like reset to like a new family and new ghosts, right? Like, I guess what I'm asking is, can you progress and can you beat the game, you know? Or is it like a perpetual thing? Cause it is a single player only, right? I'm curious about that. Maybe it's cause I left the main door open. I don't know, let's close it. You right. Let's close it, let's see what happens. Again, this could totally be user error. If you guys can't tell from all the ghost hunting you've watched me do, I am a, I am a professional. I'm a professional. now. That's more audio evidence. There we go. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I've obtained significant audio evidence. All right, I just have to remember to not get so scared when the shadow person pops back up and switch to my camera and get a picture because they stay out for quite a bit. It feels like in in this area, living room and hallway, we're getting we're getting audio evidence. That is eerie audio. Evidence. Audio evidence slowly. Right, we're building it up. Close the darn door. You're letting the ghosts in. I closed the door. What are you talking about, me? Was that a kitty? What do you mean? Foot fucking footsteps, dude. Go. Go fuck yourself. Something ran across the hallway. Don't say, don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Did it, they just said, get out. I have all the audio. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I have all the audio for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the chick. Is it just me or did it get more active when I closed the front door? I, I can't uh, is that due to how long I've been in this house or is it due to me closing the front door? Can't tell I'm just recording as much. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder <laughs> I'm just setting around here just constantly recording because it only does five second chunks, right? I just keep re-hitting record. That? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder We're getting all the audio clips, baby Man, is the is the shadow person? <laughs> I forgot. 
It's so fucking sun. Dude, I have goosebumps all. I can't, I can't show you guys. My room is too small. I, I have, <laughs> can you guys see the, you can't, my hairs are like white. You can't see the, can you see the, I don't know if you can. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I fucking hate this. It's too late at night. Please. Don't tell me to leave, bitch. Give me my evidence. That was a lot of a delay. I know. I know. I can't. I'm never going to get a picture of this fucking shadow person in the hallway because they just startle me. Like the, 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 the amount of time between every time they show their stupid shadow right face. Right okay. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Okay, we keep getting audio evidence for that bitch. That's a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. All right, we have full audio evidence for both of those. Bro, bro. Okay, maybe I just need to keep the camera out and the shadow person will come instead of keeping the audio. We have all the audio for the two ghosts up here. It feels like. Which I'm assuming are David and Deborah. Right? Dude, I swear to God, dude. I... <sighs> Like, what was that? Was that the sink? Or was that somebody in the kitchen? Bro? Leave. No, stop telling me to leave. Dude, I'm seeing shadows fucking everywhere now, man. I... Bro, bro, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to trigger shadow person. <sighs> Dude, I do not want to be stuck in a hallway with a fucking ghost. Dude. I just take pictures, man. Will they just motherfucker come out, dude? Give me some sort of evidence, something, temperature, something. Bro. <laughs> I didn't do that. That was not me. You guys are saying you saw it peek around a door? Dude, at least... At least they won't hurt me. Are you kidding? What about emotional damage? My mind is going to be hurt. I'm just going to run around. We're just going to start snapping pictures. We have a lot of audio evidence. We might just get out of here. And hope I get a picture of the ghosty. I got to go, dude. My, my, I'm covered in goosebumps on my arms and my legs. I can't, I can't. I, I fucking can't. Should I go back? Should I go back? I don't have any photos. Fine. Somebody's just... Uh. Everybody say yes. <laughs> don't lie. None of you would go back. None of you. You would all be with Icy in the van. Uh, where? Show yourself. Uh, you can type exclamation point. Shut the fuck up. 
bro 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 no uh <laughs> you can type exclamation mark um uptime and stream elements will tell you i think but according to my obs three hours and 46 minutes you'd go back in just so you wouldn't have to be in the van with i see <laughs> Maybe I have the uptime command disabled. I'm not sure. I don't know why I would, but uh, the stream element spot says it's in chat. So I don't know. Dracai has been streaming for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I gotta see if it works for me. Is it is why, why is Stream Elements trying to tell Dracais how long he's been live for? Did I miss it when I was looking at chat? Fuck, dude. Skelly McPhilly has been streaming for blank. Okay, good job, Stream Elements. I'm so glad you're here, buddy. I swear to God, you don't ever do anything right, Stream Elements. <laughs> I know it didn't give a time. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. Hey, what's up, Leslie? I am live. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good. Jesus Christ. Stream element. I don't that that my stream elements chatbot must be like the most fickle thing ever. Where are you guys seeing a figure? No, that's are you talking about the hand popping up? That's because I could close the door. Oh, I should close. I should close the front door. I'm an idiot. I left it open. Maybe that's why I'm not getting activity. All right, bro. All right. I got this. Go in the bathroom at the end of the hall. We might have to leave. I think you could only gather so much evidence in one go round. And I know we only got audio, but we got a shit ton of audio. Um, audio evidence, like a ton. Like we're going to get like 20, 25 experience or something from the audio evidence alone. The faucet back there keeps making me think it's a figure, but it's not. All the activity has been upstairs now. It's a goddamn towel electro set. Hey, Esoteric, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. YouTube's just now letting you know that the stream's happening. Yeah. YouTube notifications be fucked sometimes. All right, I have the audio for you guys. I don't need more audio. I need you to show your stupid fucking shadow fucking faces so I can take a picture. Oh, yeah, I see the shadow. Yeah, it's like from the towel in the doorway. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Man, I'm hoping I get lucky and just like catch up spawning. What was that? Bro, that was a creepy ass fucking noise. All right, we got to go. Yeah, I left. Fuck you, ghost. We got to go listen to the audio, see how much evidence we got, see what's going on, see if we're going to get another email here with another location. Like, did we uncover enough, you know? They are very camera shy. I thought I had all the audio for them. We'll see. Only 16 experience? An overwhelming amount. So I guess 16 is the most amount of experience you could get for one evidence category, right? That's what it feels like. Yeah, those handprints are like the interaction thing that tells you you can interact with an object, like open and close the door. All that jazz. Oh, there's pillows and mugs and all that good jazz now. I don't remember those being there.
Yeah, so I'll tell you guys a dirty secret about uh, YouTube notifications. Because there's a lot of channels, right? So if you actually Google YouTube notifications or you Google like YouTube notifications creator support and you read the article, what YouTube says about notifications is two things. First, they say that let's say i have 17,000 subscribers right not all 17,000 of you guys it tells me in analytics but not all 17,000 have notifications turned on yeah it's like normally for most creators it's somewhere between 10 and 20 percent have notifications on i think i'm at like 16 percent of subscribers have notifications on but anyway what how youtube batches or what they do with notifications and sending them out is they they batch them so for the 16% of my subscriber base that have notifications on, they're going to send a few waves of notifications. So they're going to send a wave of notifications to the people who watch me a lot out of that group, right? Like, I'm just making this up. But let's say you're a person who watches a video of mine multiple times a week. Rewatch stuff or you watch whatever I release every week. You're probably going to get the notification this is the way it's supposed to work. I'm not saying it always does. You're going to get the notification in the first batch they send out. Let's say you're a person who watches maybe one of my videos a week or maybe one video every other week, you know, or maybe you don't watch YouTube for one week because you're too busy. You know, you got exams at school or something. Um, you're going to be in the next batch that they send. They don't send out like all whatever 16% of 17,000 is. They don't send out all the notifications at one time. Uh, I don't know why they do that. It doesn't say in the help articles other than the fact that if you think about someone like IGP, like sending out 1 million notifications for his channel or however many it is, that's a lot. <laughs> that's like mass sending. That's like an email blast, right? Almost. And doing that level of data at one time can be difficult. So they, they do it. They group it, right? They send it in waves. So IGP. What's up, Indy man? Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, boo? Hey, guess what, man? My, I'm not having any issues with my computer right now. Hey, uh, Leslie, with the $50 stream elements donation. Leslie, you absolute champion. Leslie, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. Leslie, longtime supporter, not a first-time caller. Leslie is almost always here. So, Leslie, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that helps me out a bunch. All right. We're going to the computer to look at the computer, right? Fuck. I've been up since like 645, so I'm getting tired. <laughs> Let's go see what these fucking audio recordings, what they have to say about the goddamn ghosts at the fucking locations, man. All right. We're at Polk Street, right? Perpetual Presence Track 1 we already listened to last time. Grieving Shadow? Wait, 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 though. We might have... No. Grieving Shadow Track 1 is new. We only had Track 4 last time. Let's crank the volume. Let's listen. You guys ready? This is at normal speed. My bills? My bills? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's slow it down. Three-fourths. Do you guys understand what they're saying? My bells, my girls, my what? Half speed. My pills. My pills. Okay. Grieving Shadow, is that Deborah then? Because remember, she had the she had the she would like had a psyche vowel, right? Sounds like my pills. Okay, that's what everybody's agreeing on. It's harder to understand the more I slow it down. That's not always the case. Let's go back to full speed. My pills. All right, you're right. I think it's my pills. Yeah, I think you guys are right. Um, no, what? That's not right. Why am I only having? Oh, here we go. Oh, we have a lot of tracks. Okay, there we go. I forgot how to work this for a second. Okay, back to back to Polk Street. Yeah, that's the who's my bitch, right? 
<laughs> Hold on, go to three fourths and you can hear this perfect. Indy, listen to this, bro. IGP, listen to this, man. They're saying, who's my bitch, right? We determined this after I finished the first one. Who's my... The ghost is, is asking me, who's my bitch? Hey, thanks, Indy, man. Take care. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, have fun editing. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely who's my bitch. All right. We didn't have track two, I don't think. What? What are they saying? Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel, Justin Hart. I appreciate it. You can see no. You can see no? That's not English. You can see no. You can see no. You can see no. All right, let's drop it down to half. You can see him? I don't know. That middle word, you, you can see them? I don't know that that sounds like that to me. All right, a lot of you guys are saying that, so I'll do, yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Track three. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. All right, let's do three fours. It's coming. It's coming. Definitely, it's coming. That's, uh, that's, that's. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wrong, wrong. Sorry, sorry. Misfire, misfire of the evil laugh. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, all right. Half speed. Wait, what? <laughs> bitch, please. That it sounds like bitch, please when you do it like that. I just won't die. Hold on. I just won't die. Yep, yep. I just won't die. <laughs> <clears throat> Me neither, man. <laughs> All right, let's slow that down. I just won't die. Oh, God, that's terrible. It's fucking terrible. That is very clear. Man, okay. Uh, grieving Shadow, we didn't have track one before. My pills. My, oh, we did my pills. Hold on. Get out. Get out. Get out. That's one of the clearest. Get out. Get out. Hey, what's up, Creative Nick? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Game's going good, man. I like Leave. it. Leave. 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 Oops. All right, let's do this one. All right. We had track four last time, right? Yeah, I hate you. Yeah, we had track four. We did not have track five. Don't stay mad. Wait, what? Don't stay, mad. Don't stand there? Is that what they're saying? Don't stand there. Don't stand there. Hold on. Can you guys make that out? Don't stay mad. Don't stand there? Don't say that. I don't understand you. Don't say that. Yeah, I could see both of those. I don't understand that. Okay. Track six. Love you. Love you. Love you. That must be David talking to Charles, his dad. Love you. Yeah, it's definitely love you. Love you. Love you. Yep. Yeah. We have track seven. 
What was that? That sounds like pills shaking. Huh. Oh, that's definitely... That's pills, right? That's pills. He was talking about pills earlier, too. That's 100% pills, dude. Let's slow it down. Panda said, I know that sound anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, that's pills. Track eight. That's a laugh. That's a creepy ass fucking laugh. Hold on. Dude. Ooh, dude, shivers. Fuck that shit, bro. That's even worse, man. It sounds like it's on laughing gas. Oh. All right. Little blue boy. Did we have track one last time? I don't remember. What's that? Yeah, what's that? I think we had this before. What's that? What's that? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Do we have other tracks for him? Track two. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh god, oh no, dude, that got way... Why did that get so much creepier from full speed to three-fourths speed? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, that was cute at first, and then on three-fourths speed, it's fuck you. That's what it is. What are you doing? Dude, no. No. Yeah, that is not cute. That is right, Ulysses. <laughs> Oh, no, that's even worse. Okay, I get, that's even worse, dude. All right, bro. Nope. All right, track six. What do we got? You were happier before. Wait, what? You were happier before. You were happier before. That's the one we had from him before. Track seven. The question for EVP was, is anyone here who would like to speak with me? And they responded this. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Hold on, let's slow it down. I'm here. Okay, that's still kind of funny. I'm here. Okay, getting a little demonic. I'm here. Okay, the nah, demon. All right, that's all. All right. So I think we have all the tracks for. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have all the tracks for the first two. I might be wrong. Codename Leah, you were sleeping through that? Oh man, I wish I had that ability. I'd be pooping in my pants. I could if I was sleeping and I woke up and I heard that shit, man. Fuck that dude. So you know what? I'm going to look this up after stream, but I think one of the things you might have to do is you might have to get your notes. Like, you might have to pick what is, like, the right notes to take in order to trigger certain events, maybe. I could be wrong about that. And I'm not exactly sure 100% how they expect you to do that. But that's an interesting thought. All right, how much money do we have? I only have 85 credits because I spent some. So I still can't get what I feel like I really need to get is I really need to get maybe not the parabolic mic because it's not suited for EVP. I feel like I need something suited for EVP. So I either need the parabox or the paravox. That's what I feel like I, I really, really need. Do we have any new emails? New locations? Not yet. So I think we're just supposed to get the right notes, go back to those two locations, gather more evidence, get pictures. I did fuck up getting the shadow picture at the last place. All right. Well, this is interesting. Hold on. How many locations are there? So you got to get emails before you could go. But let's... For some reason, I could go to the church, but I don't have an email. I can also go to the lighthouse and Jefferson Street. Like, I have multiple locations. All right. But total, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm counting 16. 
16 locations and some of them like an industrial park it looks like the building the historical district those two buildings in there look pretty big the bluffs that looks like a big house some of the houses look pretty big polk street is one of the smaller houses it looks like so bobble turk what's up welcome to the stream good to have you all right all right guys well it's 12 45 a.m eastern my time i do gotta be up in the morning kids gotta go to school i got a work day so i gotta call it there but i appreciate all of you guys joining and supporting and watching i'm definitely gonna play more of this with you guys i think i'm gonna do my homework a little bit try to see if i'm doing anything wrong investigation wise we may do more streams of this at some point i may do edited videos but i'm definitely gonna come back i'm intrigued i like this there's a couple of minor complaints I have. I think it's supposed to be a slow burn, but it's just a little too much slow, but it's still got me hooked. It's still great at tension building. It's still gotten me with jump scares. And I like the, the methodical investigation piece of it. It's unique among ghost hunting games. So I like that a lot. Hey, tomorrow is Friday or today is Friday already my time, uh, depending on where you are in the world. I'm going to be streaming again today, Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I hope you'll join me. We are playing Ad Infinitum. Yes, that's how you say it correctly. It's a game that IGP played that I'm really interested in. He loved it. 10 out of 10. He's been wanting me to play it. I'm going to play Ad Infinitum. We're going to try to beat it tomorrow night. I don't know if we're going to have enough time. We'll see because it is potentially anywhere between four and like six hours. Um so for me that means like eight right no i'm just kidding i don't know but we'll see we're gonna we're gonna give it our our darndest we're gonna give it the old college try but that game is intense and insane and talk about spooktober that is gonna fucking kick it into high gear so i hope to see you guys here if you haven't can i plug my shit real quick if you haven't i released a couple videos of the last uh, over the last couple days i released rounds on wednesday rounds modded with the boys and also released Sunken Land episode three for me um, with IGP. So if you're looking for something to watch and you haven't watched those or you want to watch something again, go check them out. Show them some love. All right. Anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your Friday or Thursday or Saturday or whatever day it is on whatever universe or planet that you're on. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.